Singapore with Sam Cedar. The destiny of America is always safer in the hands of the people than in the conference rooms of any elite. Sam Cedar. They are unanimous in their hate for me, and I welcome their hatred. We must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought. This is a special Majority Report news report. The coverage of the pivotal, pivotal, (laughs) and and pitiable, pivotal Fourth Republican debate is moments away, says the Chiron on News Nation. Let's pop it up there. Uh, Sam Cedar, Emma Vigland, Bradley, and Matt are both here. Hello. Uh, we, oh, sorry. okay, sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> we're here for the uh, fourth debate, and it's the pivotal one. But what are we pivoting see, to, is the question. Uh, what does it pivot from? It goes from completely meaningless to the end of its meaninglessness. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're watching, and they just blacked out. Oh, there, uh, there we, we go. go. Okay. Oh, no. it's a montage about the University of Alabama. Oh, all right. Well, Which uh, did just that. make the college football Can playoff. We, let's make us a little bigger, okay? Because we really need to interfere with the uh, presentation of this. Because what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested in just watching the the debate, um, understand that we are going to change the nature of mm-hmm. this debate by actually inserting ourselves into it um, and uh, really making a product that is um, fundamentally different. Yep than the underlying um, uh, product. This is but visually very, appealing. Visually appealing, uh, of course. Oh, nice. Look at that. Make us a little bit smaller. You're going oh. to slide you two over just a little bit so you're in between the two. No, back over. Oh. Can't split the difference there? It's yeah. Teeny, uh, teeny, tiny. Working on it. Um, oh. <clears throat> but of course, oh, here are the uh, four people. You know who they are. Uh, Chris Christie. Um, Ron DeSantis. Uh, what's her face? Uh, what is it? Nikki, Nikki Haley, Haley and, right? And, and uh, Vivek. Vivek. I guess the question. Vivek Shimwami. Yeah, right. Uh, right. That's, uh, tried to combine it into one. You said Vivek Swami, I think earlier in the sh- uh, Viva Swami. In the t- Viva Swami, it. yeah. But it's Vivek Ramaswamy, um, and uh, here they are, and this is live from Alabama, and it's the. Oh, she's bleeding Alabama. everywhere. Oh my God! I, she's I, I didn't realize she was doing the commentary. Oh, she's Sex angry. She's so I'm angry. I'm Eliana Johnson with the Washington Free Beacon, and she, I'm Elizabeth Vargas with News Nation, and we are live on News Nation and the CW. So okay, it is wow. make or break I didn't realize time News Nation is basically a conservative right outlet now, then, but Chris the Cuomo primary is starting the top just weeks away. I think it's actually owned by the same people who own the Hill. Will you turn them down a little bit? God. Let's begin with tonight's news. Uh, Candidates will have here's 90 the, seconds Here's the rules. To They're going to have, who cares? Six it doesn't matter. Trump is the best. Listen, uh, the, uh, here's my you predictions. Nikki Haley is going to tack is to the center tonight. She is going to uh, leave most of the culture war behind. She is going to be the Koch brother candidate tonight. Really just push Social Security uh, cutting and Medicare cutting, et cetera, et cetera. And then also some like bloodthirsty stuff about Israel. Of course. And given the state of affairs in our political system right now, one of you might very well do it. Even many Democrats now admit that President Biden is a weak candidate. Just as many Republicans acknowledge that former President Donald Trump's multiple legal troubles could be oh, she's bleeding everywhere. for a second term. Oh, God. Oh, oh, means, oh one the blood. One of could wind up she's, the leader of the free world. I got a hundred. I, got, I will bet said, you anything. She is not Mr. any Trump of it. Is nearly 50 points ahead she's not of any of it. All of you in the national polls. 29 so there, points there's ahead not, of There's Iowa, no way the they're going to be. None of these people are going to be the nominee. Yeah, so, of course. Donald Trump could die tomorrow. And go to jail. We can at Bernie's. They could lock up his corpse and put it in the deepest dungeon. Governor DeSantis. And none of these people are going to be Your the campaign and its super PAC have spent the most money, Let's had the go. most high net worth <laughs> donors, and had a wave of momentum coming into this race after your big re-election win what? in Florida. Argumentum? You were hey, seen by many happened? as the candidate most likely to consolidate the non-Trump field. But here we are, a month out from the first real votes, and you haven't managed to do it. <laughs> in fact, 
Nikki Haley is beating you in New Hampshire and South Carolina now and this closing in on fun. you in Iowa. Not to mention Trump, who is not only <laughs> dominating in the early states, but is beating you in Florida dog by over 30 points. Is it fair to say, as Senator Tim Scott did when he dropped out, that voters are telling you not no, but not now? So we have a great uh, idea in America that the voters actually make these decisions, <laughs> yeah. not pundits or pollsters. Uh, I'm sick of hearing about these polls because I remember those polls I'm in sure November 2022. They said there was going to be a big red wave. It was going to be monumental. And that crap. I don't like how we suck. Uh, also, no one said that. Flipping really. was in the state of oh, they Florida. Did. They said they I guess. I guess. That but I, I would thought win that the way had, I did. Well. And I won the greatest Republican victory he's gonna, in the he's history just being too of the state of Florida. That, that was stolen. To, to and Iowa, everyone and knows answer, it. The voters are going to be able to speak. And we're going to earn this nomination. And here's what we need. No, you're not. Uh, I am sick of Republicans who are not willing to stand up and fight back against what the well, left is doing to this country. Sometimes it can be a country. little shaky. You've got to be willing to stand stilts. strong and you've got to be willing to beat these people. Yeah, I don't think I'm you're melodramatic at all. I'm the only one running for president that has beaten these people on issue after issue. Uh, we beat the teachers unions when we did school choice. We beat Fauci on COVID. We beat George Soros when we removed no, two of his but you lost district to, uh, attorneys. Uh, Gavin we Newsom, beat I'm the sorry, Democrats that, that, on election wrong. integrity. They're not I have delivered results. That's what we need for this country. And you have other candidates up here like Nikki Haley, she caves anytime the left comes after her, anytime oh, look the at media him. comes after her. That's when he's dead. Why is he Florida attacking her if he doesn't believe she in was the polls? Right. It's right. Sushi and, it's wrong. and poker she with the boys. <laughs> that bill. She thinks it's fine and the law shouldn't get involved with it. If you're not willing to stand up for the kids, if you're not willing to stand up and say <laughs> that it is wrong to mutilate these kids, uh, then you're not going to oh, fight. See, it came there up. I mentioned that right you're before right. the show. You're right. You're right. for you. First thing he's bringing up, trans stuff. I, I want her to respond. You left government service in 2018 with just $100,000. Boy, News Nation does Five not have later, the best audio team. You're reportedly worth $8 million, thanks to lucrative, at room lucrative tone. corporate speeches and board memberships like you had with Boeing. Uh, Weeks ago, you met with Wall Street. She's got to switch. She's got to toggle her microphone uh, from Black computer Rock. to Several the microphone. Billionaire investors are reportedly ready to endorse you, <laughs> or recently have. All of which comes. I love with to see people having these problems. What? Because we have similar ones, but we're exactly. not a multi-million-dollar operation. One hundred percent. There you go. Wants to break the system. Not elect someone beholden. I love the fact that they're hosting well, it. And they don't even let their own be talent you know, uh, be the I'll lead you, questioner. Um, just to respond to Ron, I, he continues to lie about my record. I actually Ooh. said his don't say gay bill didn't go far enough because it only that's talked right. about gender until the third grade. And I said it shouldn't be done at all, that that's for parents to talk about. It shouldn't be talked about with schools. No in one should identify as gay in schools. Donors coming on board. Look, we will take support from anybody we can take support from. But I have been a conservative fighter all my life. I was a Tea Party Jeez, candidate when audio. I became governor. We opposed every single corporate bailout. And what's going to be great could. is when we, we hear people corporate. mumbling we under their breath. The yeah. Legal immigration laws in the country. We passed pro-life bills. We moved an unemployment from 11 percent to 3 percent. We took on the unions and we took on Obama when it came Gosh, to the lots unions, of anti-union stuff to start off the, the sure. so shit gun labor. Uh, yeah. So as much as Ron Kids. says that, that couldn't be more clarifying. Oh, I like that. Now talk about what you want to do with social security but you can they don't i don't ask them what their policies are they ask me what my policies are and i tell them what it is sometimes they agree with me sometimes they don't some don't like how tough i am on china some don't like the fact that i've signed pro-life bills some don't like the fact that i may oppose corporate bailouts that doesn't matter that's who i am and that's why the most conservative grassroots group in the country americans for prosperity endorsed me last week what about the Koch brothers' money? Might be interesting to talk about the big money being poured into your personal He didn't respond to the criticism. It wasn't about the parents' rights and education bill. It that, was about that's their, that's prohibiting their path. The oh, that brothers. is? She's, I'm slow tonight. Minors. They do puberty blockers. These are irreversible. Talk to Chloe Cole. She went through this. Now she's an adult. She's warning against it. She may never be able to have kids again. That is kids what again? Nikki Haley opposed. She said the law shouldn't get involved in that. And I just ask you, if you're somebody that's going to be the president of the United States and you can't stand up against child abuse, how are you going to be able to stand up for anything? That, that is the truth. I we never have it, said We have it that. on video. I said, that I said that if you have to be 18 to get a tattoo, you should have to be 18 to have anything done to Actually, change. Actually, that's not what you said. Out of it. 
But, uh, and I'm almost feeling badly that I was impressed by her saying something different. Also, can kids get tattoos when they're under 18 if they have parental permission? Yes. I can vouch for that, sadly. The second debate, you changed your tune, saying these are good people on this stage, admitting you can come across as a bit of a know-it-all and rejecting the practice of personal insults. We'll have some fun. I'll see you out the trail. Corrupt, <laughs> accused Ron DeSantis of wearing high heels and told Ambassador Haley she should. Oh keep look, he's laughing. On her daughter. <laughs> Can you see how this has led some to conclude you are not, in fact, a unifier, and to oh. question your authenticity? That's the best thing Megan, about it. I think it. there's a time and place for everything. We need somebody in the uh -huh. White House uh -huh. who absolutely <laughs> is going to be a fighter when it counts. And I did say that there were some good people on that stage in that third debate. Doug Burgum was on that stage at that time. Ah, there we go. That. Jokingly, Ron DeSantis is a good person, too. I want to go back to Nikki uh, Not Nikki. I, and I stand <laughs> not responding toes and heels Jones. above uh, Nikki, Ron DeSantis. Nikki, you were bankrupt when you left the U.N. Yes. After you left the U.N., you became a military contractor. You actually started joining service on the board of Boeing. Drag her, drag her, you drag her. For a very long time. Oh. And then gave foreign multinational speeches like Hillary Clinton is. Oh. And now you're a multimillionaire. That math does not add up. It adds up to the fact that you are corrupt. And when Whoa. I said they were bought and paid for, I meant the <clears throat> Republican establishment, not the Democratic establishment. Now you have Reid Hoffman, the person who's effectively George Soros Jr., funding lawsuits across this country All right. against Donald Trump to keep him off the ballot, funding left-wing causes. We discovered this week that he is one of Nikki Haley's largest supporters. Whoa. Larry Fink, the king of the woke industrial complex, the ESG movement, the CEO of BlackRock, the most powerful company in the world, yeah, that philosophy now supporting Nikki Haley. To and to say that doesn't affect her is false, because it's after that meeting later that day that she says that every American needs to be doxxed by having their ID, their government-issued ID, tied to what they say on the internet. So I think that this is far more corrupt than I even imagined. Wow, when I entered he's politics. really. But I will say he this, really knows that. It like, is going to take he, a from the outside. They're in the same lane because they're both the not United white United in a Republican country. party. Yes. Not the broken politicians who are puppets of the puppet masters, but the actual people in this country. Puppet yeah. masters. Yeah. Do we know if Reid Hoffman when he wrote is the Declaration Jewish, of Independence? I think it's going to take somebody whose best days in life are still ahead to see a country whose best days. <laughs> Are ahead of itself, and I think I can reach that. I mean, you said puppet master, and said pull that. Um, uh, I gave you the link Sponsor. for, Megan. and we'll play that a little bit later. First of all, we weren't bankrupt when I left the UN. We weren't. We're people of service. My husband is in the military, and I served our country as UN ambassador and governor. It may be bankrupt to him, but it certainly wasn't bankrupt to us. Secondly, I did serve on the board of Boeing. I did a lot of work with Boeing when I was governor. They were a great partner to me. I served for 10 months. And then when they decided after COVID that they wanted to go for a corporate bailout, I've never supported corporate bailout, so I respectfully stepped back and got off the board. I love <laughs> Boeing. They build good commercial airplanes. They build airplanes for our Air Force. I'm um, proud of them. They the idea a lot of, of Boeing in South Carolina. getting a but that's bailout from the government, board. their entire business is the, is, is the government. Supporting me, they're just jealous. And I, but they, they did. Wish that they Someone were doing government them, business in here. <laughs> also, she only... Oh, wait. What did she say? She only recused herself <laughs> after the COVID no, bailout? No, what did she just say? ESG that, uh, and these oil corporations and BlackRock. The idea that I want to do that in Florida, they were managing our pension, part of our pension, and then when they did the ESG, I took two billion dollars away from BlackRock. We took action. This ESG Look at how is insane called environment, he looks. social governance, Man. and again, Nikki is meeting with all these people. Uh, they want to use economic Poor Chris power Christie. to impose a left-wing agenda come in. on this country. Yeah, I don't think they we've heard from him. Basically, him to nope. change society without having to go through the constitutional process. We've kneecapped it in the state of Florida. The next president of the United States needs to be able to go to that office on day one and end ESG. And the fact of the matter I is, can't believe he hasn't said woke. from her history, Nikki well, now he's saying ESG. to those That's big donors flavor, right? when it counts. And I, that is not well. Well, I, I did write that book. Well, I sure is, Nikki now. Haley was heaping praise on me when I wrote that book, but now I worry. I was warning about the woke industrial complex in this country as a warning 
Apparently, she read it as a how-to manual. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> as well. And so I think that that's actually far more dangerous. The ladies more got to be more woke than the rest of them. We're marching towards fascism under Biden. Jack Smith has subpoenaed <clears throat> every last retweet that someone has issued from Donald Trump in the year 2020. The only person more fascist than the Biden regime now is Nikki Haley, who thinks the government wow. should every one of those individuals uh, with an oh. ID. That is not freedom. That is fascism. <laughs> and she should come nowhere near that the members of the That is pretty good, though. I mean, that is quite a bold. No, but can I just say that it's a number one and two fascists in the country. Biden, number two. To the, the Haley, number one. Oh, yeah. You said that every anonymous internet spoken. user needs to out themselves. They're both hitting you on it. I would be happy to, and I love all the attention, fellas. Thank you for that. Um, you know, I will, I'll say this. What I said was that social media companies need to show us their algorithms. I also said there are millions of bots on social media right now. They're foreign, they're Chinese, they're Iranian. I will always fight for freedom of speech for Americans. We do not need freedom of speech for Russians and Iranians and Hamas. We That's need social Hamas media bots. companies what? to go That's and fight back on oh, yeah. all of these. No, it's Hamas that, that has said, control as a over mom, social media. As a mom, do I think that social media would be more civil if we went and had people's names next to that? Yes, I do think that because I think Take we've got too Elon. much cyberbullying. I think we've got child pornography and all of those things. But having said that, I never said government should go and require I don't anyone's know, name. Yeah. Said, I want your name. She she the the United States, 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 her first day in office, she said one of the first things I'm going to do. Chris Christie is already, uh, he's, he's just, he's walked off the stage and he's talking somewhere to four people in a diner in New Hampshire. And that was going to be one of the first things she did in office. And then she got real serious blowback and understandably so because it'd be a massive expansion of government. This exchange. Change would be relevant if either one writers, of them had broken like 20, po they, they 20 percentage points. It's Nikki, that's Nikki, they're both where are they? Both around like 12 or 18 or something like that. And, and, and they look at them. He's so desperate. And they've been canceled. You know the regime would use that to the weaponize regime. that against our own people. Okay. <laughs> you should say like, why did you debate the governor of California when you're running for president? Okay. Governor, former governor of New this Jersey. This because Ron is so hypocritical because he actually went and tried to push a law that would stop Look anonymous. Them. Ron de Sanctimonious. Look at him, how he stands there. Press and I'm going to stand up on my... Bloggers should have Put to register your with the state the if they're going to talk about write about elected officials. It That's was in true, the money. Actually. Check your newspaper. It was absolutely okay. there. Some okay. I have never said government should not trample on your constitutional Some rights. Some legislators. This is more dangerous than the Democrats. You're lying. This section's over. Okay, Governor Grinnell. This is where Chrissy <laughs> says, "Look at this. It's a clown show." Usually, not somebody who gets missed, but okay, let's go. What's happening? <laughs> okay, I got. DeSantis. Uh, listen, uh, according to what uh, has happened, in 2020, 5:38. DeSantis is averaging around. Around 12.7 percent. Haley, 10.6 percent. This is the, like well, I've mentioned win. this uh, metaphor before. You even said that you got into Two bald men fighting President over Trump. a comb yeah. is His really what we're watching here. Is currently at 81 percent. Yours is at 25. Your best state is New Hampshire, and even there, two thirds of GOP voters say they would be angry and disappointed if you won. <laughs> Respectfully, <laughs> Governor, you have not. What are you doing, Mr. Trump? And voters may wonder and you how smell. you possibly become I can smell you from party. here. <laughs> does not appear to like you very much. Yeah. Well, look, Megan. Um, look, Megan, you're bleeding from everywhere. To be the only person on the stage who's telling the truth. And the only person who is taking on what needs to be taken on. I, I look at my watch now. We're 17 minutes into this Republicans don't debate. want truth, buddy. And except for the your little speech in the it. beginning. We've had these three acting as if the race is between the four of us. Yes. A, the fifth guy. True who doesn't have the guts to show up and stand here. He's the one who, as you just put it, is way ahead in the polls. And yet, I've got these three guys who are all seemingly to compete um, with, you know, Voldemort, he who shall not be named. <laughs> they don't want to talk about it. The, the fact is that when you go and this you say great. the truth uh, about Chris somebody is going to make them burn, dictator, burn bully, themselves or get embarrassed. Yes. Shots at everybody because they can't mention Trump. Service because if Trump was to get hit by that bus dares and then in, in a some type of like subterranean tomb, why the three um, are timid to say anything about They it. don't want to be tarred. They have future aspirations. Oh, yeah. Maybe those future aspirations are now or maybe they're four years from now. But the fact of the matter is the truth needs to be told. 
And for us to go 17 minutes without discussing the guy who has all those gaudy numbers you talked about is ridiculous. Gaudy? I'm in I don't this race so. because the truth Excuse needs me. to be spoken. He is numbers. Get me a hamburger. This is a guy who just said this past week that no he wants Oreos to use the Ukraine. Department of Justice <laughs> to go after his enemies when he gets in there. Yeah, like you. I mean, the fact of the matter is, you're, he is unfit. You're moving up the list for the first no time in years, in this race, Chris Christie. Than Donald Trump, and those numbers prove it. Thank Governor you. Christie. Look how terrified DeSantis looks. Don't pick me. In just a moment. But these guys like first get to some questions. These guys are all like, uh, you know, I'm playing Tonight left field. Please don't hit the ball to me. In Gaza, yeah, Israeli tanks are on the move up. and have surrounded the home They're of the foot leader of Hamas. Yeah, she's like, we'll get to Trump later. Americans We're going to still pretend like this is in the tunnels a real thing. Gaza yeah. for 60 days now. American troops and warships in the Middle East are under attack. How far would you go as president to secure the release of those eight American oh, hostages? I'd go all the way. Yeah, go. American forces into combat. <laughs> 98% of the week. We have to look I'll do whatever one, you want. You can one, do whatever you want to me, Israel. 20%. You can do whatever you can to get them done. But the overall issue with this get them done. is this administration I tortured is trying people. to oh, wait, no, never mind. being able to defend itself. They have a right to eliminate Hamas and win a total and complete victory so that they never have to deal with this again. Hamas wants nothing less than a second Holocaust. They would wipe off every single Jew off the map. They would destroy the state of Israel if we could. Joe Biden will if say they could? support Israel. And they um, do nothing what's wrong with Ron DeSantis? Why can't he the way. talk You should normal. not try to direct their war effort. We should work together with them so that they can bring Hamas to heel. Look, I served uh, in, in Iraq back in the day. Uh, well, you know, you the president that yeah. not so much. In the I understand that part of the world. You were a lawyer. Uh, it's not the best part of the world. It depends uh, we do have troops there that Biden is leaving, basically <laughs> I a sitting ghost. And you have Except the Iranians the that are attacking these troops, and he's responding with basically pinpricks. If you harm an American service member, you're going to have hell to pay when I'm president. We are not going to let our troops be sitting ducks. We also need to look at what's the underlying problem here. How come no Iran. one's applauding for Iran. Iran is doing really nothing to, to bring Iran. Iran to account. you got to turn the screws on them. Don't let them have any oil revenue. The money they get, they send to Hamas, they send to Hezbollah, and they foment jihad throughout the Middle East. So Biden has empowered Iran just like he's pow empowered other adversaries. We stand with Israel. They're our best ally in the Let's Middle East. We have a unique relationship with them. Uh, and Bolton's you will see a strong relationship when I'm the President of the United States. But Elizabeth, 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 look. This, this is the problem with the first three debates. Ron you're not having real question, and he doesn't answer it. Your question was very specific. You said, would you send American troops as commander in chief? And he went on to this minute and 30 second Hosanna about his knowledge of the military and what we need to do and didn't answer your question. Look, when you're president of the United States, you're not gonna have a choice whether to answer that question or not. Your generals, your secretary of defense, your secretary of state, your national security advisor yeah, are answered? gonna present plans to you. They're gonna look at you and say, do we go or don't we, Mr. President? And you can't give a 90 second speech about your military services. So would you, would you send American troops in to rescue those hostages? I would absolutely, absolutely. If they had a plan which showed me that we yeah, could get big, them out well, safely. You're damn right. right I'd send the American army what in there he? to get our people home and get them home. Nice. Let's, let's get it. Let's pressure. get the American troops on the shores of Gaza. <laughs> Mr. Ramaswamy. Oh, my God. You have said it was irresponsible for Ambassador Haley to call Hamas. Sort of amazing rampage, an that DeSantis didn't say that and for to begin to with quote, because it's all freebie. Shout, finish right. Them, end quote. The Hamas terror attack left dozens of Americans dead and was the deadliest attack on Jews since the Holocaust. Why wouldn't it be a good thing to finish Hamas? This feels like the deadliest attack. Finish them attack. was purposefully vague in a discussion that included this Iran, feels... which is what I objected to. And I think it's res as U.S. president, like the you have deadliest to be attack on Palestinians. What when was that? Israel was dead wrong. That's what so Hamas did was medieval. It was subhuman. It was immoral. And we have to call that like the out for what bombing it is on campaign. October 7th. Yeah. But to say that Same that ratio of civilian America to uh, fighter test. kills. I mean, Nick, if we believe the, the Israeli if you know military, Israel is in the US they're bragging like that, about it. I can that. have my three-year-old son show you the difference. That is irresponsible because it has major consequences because that doesn't leave room for what actually is an attack 
on America. So I believe I have the strongest pro-Israel position actually on the stage, even though it's a little bit different than the standard GOP talking points. Well, well this is interesting to me. They, the they've... founding vision of Israel, David Ben-Gurion, the George Washington figure of Israel, what did he believe? Oh, God. He believed that we don't want, as Israel, to depend on the fleeting sympathies of the West and have our hands tied. I think Israel has an absolute right to defend itself to the fullest without the U.S., the U.N., or the E.U., or anybody else second-guessing their decisions. Yeah, let's see how they the like Biden it. the Biden administration, guess what, is now starting to do. I think that's a more deeply pro-Israel position than anybody else. And it I believe in Israel, so clear we won't. Because it he's is a honestly right, even position. though, like, and well, the way he's no framing it, stand for it, the way he's Just framing it is... As a father of two sons, my sole moral duty is to my family. As your next president, my sole moral duty is to you. The it is. Of it this is country. interesting, though. That's how I'm um, going to lead. So I'll tell Bibi, you smoke the terrorists on your southern border. You go ahead, and we're rooting for you. Okay. We're going to smoke we're the not southern border. Yeah, on yeah, the southern <laughs> border, and that's how I'm going to lead this country. Go smoke but, them. But Americans, look, that's. I mean, applause there. It's just interesting. Americans They're a little less attack, and so bloodthirsty. If you, if you looked at this terrorist time. attack and the number of Americans, this would be one of the top ten terrorist attacks in American history. So our own people one of the top were ten killed terrorist in that attacks. <laughs> and I think it's what are some of your top ten cases? That's tier list of terrorists. Say that we're in this together. Just uh, below McVeigh. Work with Israel so that these people. I mean, 9/11 is number one. I agree with that. <laughs> this is one of the Ambassador top Hayes, 35 terrorist to attacks in the United. Iran is on the threshold of becoming a nuclear state. The Wall Street Journal reported that Iranian military have been on the, the, the threshold for a decade. For Hamas's attack <laughs> Saying it on the threshold. <laughs> you said in we're last cool week's debate that, by contrast to the Biden administration's approach to Iran, you would quote punch them once and punch them hard. Were you saying That's that it's one time to knockout bomb Iran? punch and make them no, disappear? No, I was not saying it's time to bomb Iran, punch but I will tell you, I dealt with Iran every day when I was at the United Nations, and they only and respond. They to would strength. just take what their they sweet time at the concession yeah. stand. The I was waiting like and waiting and waiting and waiting. I wanted to get to fill their proxies. What a piece they don't of pie, to is or maybe some quiche. And they send out those emails. They send out those emails, and they would CC everybody. I to deal with them all the time. So men obnoxious. and women in Syria and Iraq, and we do nothing but just some small shots. Walk around with their worry beads. You've got to punch them hard Iran and Iraq. let them know that. That's the only way they're going to respond. So the way you do that there is are you people go waiting. Back to infrastructure in Syria and Iraq where they're hitting our soldiers. That's what you do, and then that's when they'll back off. The problem is you have to see that all of these are related. We should if escalate a Middle East war. All of these Muslim countries are related. Ukraine. Putin had hit rock bottom. They had raised the draft age to 65. It's actually good that we're not responding to missiles, every provocation drones that from Iran, we've missiles received from since North Korea. Last and so what happened when he hit rock bottom? All of a sudden, Look at his Ron other friend, Iran, oh, Hamas sorry, goes so and invades shallow, Israel but... and butchers those people on Putin's birthday. There is no one happier oh, this is right wait, now. Totally wow. Q -Anon wow. Wow. All the Hamas... attention America had on Ukraine suddenly <laughs> I mean, went to Israel. Israel Q -Anon. And that's what they were hoping is going to happen. We need to make sure that we There's have solid yes, Hamas, yes, that occupation, that yes. There is a reason, again, but that Putin's Taiwanese want to help I mean, Ukrainians because they it's know like when we know why we're doing this. Reagan calls in. To, uh, give There's you a, a reason the Ukrainians like want to help Israelis surprise. because they yeah. know that if Iran wins, right. Russia wins. These are all connected. But what wins all of that is a strong America, not a weak America. And that's what Joe Biden's given us. Let punch him. I want to say Thank one you. thing about the tie to Ukraine, Go if ahead. I may. So foreign policy experience is not the same as foreign policy wisdom. I want everybody at home to know that I'm the so first hard person to Hale, say we need so a reasonable funny. peace deal in Ukraine. Oh, now a lot of the so neocons much. are quietly coming along to that position, with the exceptions of Nikki Haley and Joe Biden, who still support this, what I believe is pointless war in Ukraine. And I think those with foreign policy experience, one thing that Joe Biden and Nikki Haley have in common is that neither of them Top could even fascists. state for you three provinces <laughs> in Eastern Top two Ukraine that in the they world. want to send our troops to actually fight for. Look at that. This is, uh, this is what I want reminds to me of These Tulsi have, going after no Kamala. The, what the hell the, the names of those provinces are, but she wants right? to send our sons and daughters and our troops I mean, and our military equipment to go fight it. He's a side, so reject that's, this myth that they've been selling you, that somebody down. had a cup of coffee, stint at the UN, and then makes eight million bucks after, has real foreign policy experience. Whoa, it takes an he's going hard Look at the blank expression. She doesn't know the names of the provinces that she wants to... Oh, they're going to make her at... They're going to... List the provinces. Ask the provinces. The donors right there that are playing like the puppet okay. master. I would Name imagine. Five let me just look, say she knows more than you know, he does as UN ambassador. He's a reasonable peace deal in Ukraine. He made it clear.
give them all the land they've already stolen. Chris Christie coming to Nikki Haley's defense Ukraine because he knows if he has a future in trust Republican Putin politics, it's going to be if she wins Good something. Point. Let me tell you something. That's no that's reasonable. Not my deal. That's, that's not my deal. Yes, it's exactly what I'll, you said. I'll you do this at every debate. I'll just, I'll tell you exactly say, no, 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 don't interrupt I'll me. I didn't interrupt you. <laughs> okay? You tell say this. How you you do this. To die. You do this. Thank you for speaking while I'm interrupting. You go out on the stump and you say something. All of us see it on video. We confront you on the debate stage. You say you didn't say it, and then you back away. And I want to say exactly what I said, Chris. I'm not done yet. Well, this is. Now, look. This is. Now, this is not a spirit. What has happened to the Democrats? This is the fourth debate, the fourth debate that you would be voted in the first 20 minutes as the most obnoxious blowhard in America. So shut up for the uh, There you go. That's impressive. Christie's pissed he's getting edged out. Everyone's getting smoked, too. It's funny. I want to say something else. I can't wait for all of their polls to drop. Into this debate, and he has insulted Nikki oh, Haley's guys. basic intelligence. Not her positions, her basic intelligence. She doesn't know reason. Yeah, she wouldn't be able primary. to find something on a map that his three-year-old could find. Look, if you want to disagree on issues, that's fine. And Nikki and I disagree on some issues. But I'll tell you this, I've known her for 12 years, which is longer than what he's even started to vote in a Republican primary. Mm -hmm. Got him. And while we disagree about some issues and we disagree about who should be president of the United States, what we don't disagree on is this is a smart, accomplished woman. You should stop insulting so her. So I want to take this. Whoa. The Chris White Christie. Knights. The White Knights. Chris Christie. That's what it means to be a mighty man. I mean, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> We learned three things right there. First of all, Chris Christie also doesn't know what provinces in eastern Ukraine he actually wants us to fight for. Chris, your version of foreign policy experience was closing a bridge from New Jersey to New York. Nice! So yes! Favor, just walk yourself off that stage, enjoy a nice meal, yeah. and get the hell out of here. Oh, he called him fat. He called, called him fat. Send your Whoopsie. sons and daughters to go use <laughs> somebody else's door. Hold on. Well, you you better, excuse voting. me, Chris, I'm speaking, and I'm not done yet. Speaking. I heard time when you are going to be done. So what has happened to the Democrats? These people want to send your sons and daughters Look to go Look how uncomfortable Ron DeSantis is. Like, he looks just as uncomfortable as when this is not happening. Yeah. You could get a big W over. by just walking Neither off right now. I don't think, he, I don't think Ron DeSantis has ever felt comfortable in his own skin. He doesn't want to walk. Not not all the cameras are on. leaning on the podium. That's the, yeah. These people are lying to you. <laughs> you said like a 20 degree About leaning weapons and mass destruction in Iraq. To justify that invasion, didn't know the first thing about Vivek is running exactly Trump's campaign. Yeah. yeah. The same right? thing exactly. told you the exactly. same in Afghanistan, where the Taliban like just, he's, he's he's just, he's later, just got a different sort of cadence, like presentation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's also running as the I'm the rich guy that's not corrupt. Dick Cheney, um, is still but a fascist he's running with a little bit more of like a new libertarian foreign policy. Somebody said Chris Christie, White Knight? More like White Castle Knight. Dingo says early prediction the winner of the final you Republican know, debate will be this Doug is the Burgum. Kind of thing there you go. Where he talks about experience. You know, I was the U.S. attorney in New Jersey when the terrorist attacks were launched against the United States. Drop the bomb, Chris. I Could have stopped it. First this is what Trump did in this debate when uh, tried to Ted Cruz tried again. to tell him that you know, he had I New York values. the threat of terrorism mm -hmm. and bullying in this country and around the world. And at that time, I arrested people just for being Ukraine, Muslim. I arrested people just for looking Harvard. like Vivek. Yeah. I don't need to be told and how to so, protect this country. The fact of the matter is, back is. then he was a Democrat. Yeah. So you know, the <laughs> fact the fact is, is the fact is. is that all he knows how to do. Well, you're busy hugging Barack all he Obama. Knows how to do, Thank you. All he knows Whoa. how to do is insult good people. Vivek has all the oppo. Yep. And not all at the top anything. of his, yeah. his yeah. head, too. That's the, the thing that the Vivek is good at. Right, thank you, Governor Christie. He doesn't, he's not bogged down with all this cool niceties. Down yeah. When we come back, we're going to tackle issues on the southern border. We'll be back in a few minutes. Talk about Trump? No? Okay. No, I guess not. I got to say, folks, we, we told you from the beginning this was going to be pivotal, and it really has been pivotal. It keeps mm -hmm. pivoting upon itself, and each one of them, I think... Um, those of you who have wood stoves, you'll understand this concept because one of the new features in wood stoves is that they uh, burn more efficiently. 
they literally burn the smoke and the ash in new wood stoves. And that's I mean, what we're seeing here. They are burning each other and then burning their ashes. And I think what's going to be great about this is right now, like I say, um, Trump at 59.6 on uh, Project 438's, uh, um, you know, a- aggregate of polls. DeSantis at 12.7, Haley at 10.6, Ramaswamy at 4.9%. Boy, has he fallen. Um, and uh, Christie at 2.7. And I guess Asa Hutchinson is still in the race. That's very cute. He's at 0.5%. I'm going to make a prediction. Tomorrow, after this debate, Donald Trump, 61%. Do you, do you, Every, can you see prior to the first debate on that data? Because my recollection is that there was a small <laughs> dip in Trump's, like maybe five to ten points, maybe not ten, um, once the first debate hit. Was that in, I th- I think, well, I don't know. I'm trying you were to gone know. for that debate. I it's don't remember what you were No, I was here. It was in, oh, okay, yeah. August 24th. The first one. The first, one. first one was when? August 24th? Yep. Okay. On, there was a two-day period where he dipped right uh basically from uh it, it dropped from august 21st and it it bottomed out on august 26th and then he was back up by september 4th right and has never been really except for one little dip around uh, the first of august which i imagine was when the second uh, second or third debate was mm-hmm. He has a little bit of a dip and then it just comes back up. Yeah, I mean, those dips were the first time I thought like maybe there's something might be interesting about this and it dissipated immediately. <laughs> I don't know. After that first debate, uh, I joined you from vacation and I was just like, I've never seen anything that seemed so um, quixotic. I mean, let's put up let's put up this chart here, though, because I feel like Real Clear Politics does a good job at, at aggregating this. I just sent the, the the link. You'll be able to go down. Oh, wait. Oh, we, you know what I'd like to also do if we can, just because it yeah. just came up. Let's before we get to that, we'll get that at the next uh, break. But let's play this Nikki Haley thing. Um, that's just above that. She did come out and I was impressed by this. I don't know the context. I just happened to see this on Twitter because I follow Bill Mitchell because I'm fascinated by this guy who was um, such a, a diehard Trump uh, Trumpista and then went all in for DeSantis. Uh, but here is um, uh, Nikki Haley with uh, Tony. Uh, I, I can't pronounce his last name. Yeah. Uh, Madam Ambassador, another question is what care should be on the table when a 12 year old child in this country assigned female at birth says, actually, I feel more comfortable living as a boy. What should the law allow the response to be? I think the law should stay out of it. And I think parents should handle it. Uh, Madam Ambassador, another question is what so care should be on yeah. the t- her yeah. uh, Koch brothers kind of saying like we've done the numbers on this and uh, no one really gives a crap <laughs> like it's not a winning issue right um, I think I think that she has a lane and she wants to win that lane and be as in and, and and maximize that lane I think that I think they all know that like <clears throat> there this is this is for 2028 to the extent that they have a future. DeSantis, yeah. I think, knows he doesn't. That's why he looks like he's looking, staring into the abyss every time he talks. Chris Christie is just trying to set himself up for any type of future. Um, Nikki Haley is not going to be the nominee if Donald Trump dies. Yeah. I'm sorry. Everyone knows that. But Nikki Haley could be a part of an administration that uh, that if, if uh, Donald Trump dies and somebody else runs and beats uh, Joe Biden... Uh, she could be part of that administration. Yeah, she is building a political future. Maybe that, uh, or or she's choosing the lane that she has available for her to and, and, and is leaning into that. Tuscaloosa, yeah, and and hoping that the fever breaks with Trump at some point. Well, the fever's not going to break. I mean, I but, know, but, but they but, all but think that. But if he dies, yeah. somebody's going to be pre- you know, they're not yeah. Republican voters right now. Both the issue of migrants crossing illegally into our country. And the separate issue of fentanyl being smuggled in, mostly through legal ports of entry. All year, News Nation... Oh, good for her for saying that, legal ports of entry. In 2023 alone, 
Border Patrol. Well, I wonder if she'll mention that. Um, Two point. I wonder if she'll mention that. Uh, migrants. Uh, All four of you have talked tough. The, the cop union is, head. How realistic is uh, the talk? Who got so, uh, Governor DeSantis? Like to start. I Probably think she not. might not. Yeah. Probably not. not. To My guess is no. To the what about these cops? <laughs> Maybe they're the ones trafficking it, huh? Quote, stone to you, cold Ron. dead. Anyone illegally entering with a backpack that you believe contains fentanyl. Critics have called. They're the all bringing it in backpacks. I mean, later just backpacks are so scary. Scary than a purse. Killing. Well, it's on you your can back. put fentanyl in a backpack. Yeah. Yeah. Emma, Why do you think this idea apparently you don't know. Emma wants fentanyl. Apparently, someone didn't watch The Wire. They are killing our Jesus, citizens sorry. by the tens of thousands every year. Uh, we had a situation in Florida. There was an 18-month-old baby that was crawling on the floor of an AB Airbnb His rental. Anecdote there was Ron fentanyl tonight. residue on the carpet, and the baby died. Is this acceptable in this that. country? What about the babies that Legion are dying? DC? They don't care. All, like they don't every care ten minutes in Gaza. Ravaging your community. They don't care that illegal by aliens touch. are ravaging our yeah. community and overwhelming our community. The commander in chief not only has a right, I think we should be regulating Airbnb. Uh, where are you on that? Nope. People. And does so that mean gonna, shooting first? It means you're going to you're going to uh, categorize them as foreign terrorist organizations, uh, and we will identify just like we would anywhere. When I was in Iraq, the Iraq the the Al Qaeda wow. wasn't so wearing a uniform. He got some notes about playing up. You see anyone walking down the street? They all had the military stuff. Military yeah. Someone had a, a bomb, an IED attached, or not? And so you had to make a judgment based on intelligence, based on positive identification. You was but a lawyer, we're be folks. Able to get the based on the on these contents of the stomachs the of the prisoners. If we had a wall Jack across Scary the weapons? southern border, which I support, this would not have happened. We need to build a wall across I had, the southern border. Uh, I drank I'll some uh, Z-Biotics tonight. And I'll make four. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. I forgot. Supposed to pay for it. Remember, here's how that. you do that. Uh, I'm going to have fees on remittances from foreign workers when they send the money back to foreign countries. We're going to tax it. And we're going to build the wall with that. So yes, you should have oh, had build that, the wall. But we don't have it. I'm going to build it. But we have to lean in on money? this problem. I am not going to sit there and allow mothers to lose more kids <laughs> because of fentanyl <laughs> overdose. I am not going to sit there and let sex trafficking go unabated or Thank human you. trafficking go unabated. Well, does anybody There's know what the fentanyl overdose uh, uh, rate is in Florida? Do we know what the how many people die of fentanyl overdose in Florida? It should be zero, right? And deport well, all he'll just blame Biden who are here in this country illegally. But then you yeah, said in London, this Dairy, Airbnb story is an Airbnb that problem. That there was a giant party who are working and, and people left drugs out rather than a feeding off the family system, which is so. Yeah, you should. So first of all, what <laughs> I said more is all yeah. seven yeah. or eight Airbnb. million illegals that have come under Biden's watch absolutely it. have to go back. We have to stop the incentive of what's everyone go back. First place, Biden just gave temporary protective status to 500,000 Venezuelans. That's a half a million social that's security a, cards. That's a half a million driver's licenses. And I know from my time at the United Nations, the first thing they do is pick up the phone and 500,000 Venezuelans? Said, we came over, or was that 50,000? that's what yeah, sends I'd... more. You have to go and deport these people so they know it can't happen again. For those that have been here longer than that, we've got to start seeing or you who is it, them how them into long the have they been so here, they can, have they know, been vetted, mm -hmm. have they paid taxes, have they They've been working they and they figure be out on the who else is out there. But what I know is my parents came here legally. They put in the time, they put in the price, they are offended the by those that are coming That's illegally. Interesting we can't let mission. them skip the line. But when you talk about fentanyl like you did before, let's look at something else. Yes, I think we should send special operations over. I guess and it was 500,000. I think offered anyways. Good do job, a, Joe Brandon. Uh, remain a Mexico right. policy nice. so they never step foot in U.S. soil in the first place. But look at where fentanyl came from. Let's go to the heart of the matter. It came China. from China. That's there why we, we need to end all normal yeah, trade relations with, with China, China. Okay. until yeah, they stop murdering that. Americans with fentanyl. Normal I relations promise with China. you, they Good need luck our economy. That. They will immediately stop that. We but this is where Trump went wrong. Trump was good on trade. They're all liars. That's all this. he was with China. Because here he allowed China fentanyl China right to continue now, to come Taiwan over. Have he continued industry. to allow them to take, he would give them technology that would build up their military and hurt us. He allowed the Chinese infiltration for them to well, buy Joe Biden plans, forced to me to do it in our universities. Because he was bribed. He continued to do things that were harmful for America. We now have a spy base Thank in you. Cuba and police stations, and Trump didn't do anything about it. Thank her, you. Her China, though, I mean, this, this is rich, because when she was governor of South Carolina, she was the number one ranked governor of bringing the CCP into her state. She wrote a love letter to the Chinese ambassador. Dear the Chinese friend, ambassador, friend, China, you I love you. I love you. You're the best. There's also so a video dreamy. of her as governor 
standing in front of a Chinese flag with a Chinese business saying China, China, that China. she now works for them, talking about this Chinese company. So she's been very Imagine weak I'm saying China. that about now, any the problem. The other nationality besides but China. Like China. Sweden. She works for Nigeria. Like, what are you talking They about? make money in China. They are not going to let her be tough on China, and she will cave to the donor. She will not stand up for you. 15 seconds. Someone's looking to get to 11 points. Wall Street donors used to support him, and now they support me. The second thing is, oh. he has a company, a Chinese that is a weird company, you guess, reflex. that you yeah. just did a rally there last year. They have given you 340 more campaign He was campaign the candidate of the most odious people in the country, employees. and now they I am, tied to the and he's jealous. Jinko Solar is another one. They went and expanded. You gave $2 million in subsidies. I banned and they China took, from buying land in the state of and Florida. And the Department of I Homeland... Eject the it's gross that that gets. Have they even returned to Christie once? In South that is not I true. ejected them. So I have a record of standing up and do what's right. And, and here's the you thing. You have a record she, of she's, done, she's trying to say things like that. Even the liberal media groups that usually if I say the sky is blue, they'll fact check me and say that's wrong. They looked at her charges. They said it was totally false that they could not Name find check one around, instance so of me stuff. recruiting a Shout Chinese business coming to Florida. You Thank know you. why? Because Thank you, Media Matters. He reads China. Media Matters. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Ramaswamy, over the past year, they haven't Democrats asked Chris Christie a single question. Exactly have they? Americans, one thousand of them, right here in Alabama. It's like, what's the difference you between having three percent and twelve percent at this point? And they're just like desperate Mexico, to something the president keep the of audience said the, would be a hostile uh, act. But fentanyl can easily be made anywhere. Can we talk about Trump at any point? Can easily and quickly yeah, no be replaced. Yeah, no questions about that. News Nation doesn't want to draw attention to the fact that uh, like this means absolutely to a country nothing. Wrecked by addiction. To this the is the pivotal fourth debate. That. Yeah, Emma. I know. The actual demand side um, problem. What are you talking about? That we also have in this country. I mean, the pivotal fourth debate. How we're going to use our military to secure the border. I will, and I believe that everybody else Damn. wants to do the same thing. Don't you understand what's going on here? Dealing with the crisis of purpose and They're meaning, pivoting. mental health, 90 epidemic, degrees, raging across how many people we got watching? Wildfire. 90 degrees. And there's a reason why and after the opioid crisis, you see fentanyl. And even what's after that? we get fentanyl, and we are going to be sure to make sure we do it. This one's Eight? worse for many reasons. Packman's got seventy-two thousand. What the hell is he? So it's more dangerous. Graphics are better. But we're deluding ourselves. The real false promise here is thinking that we're going to have dealt with that under, underlying mental health get, epidemic in this country. we got to ding him with a copyright with uh, uh, mass report. But I want to get back to this issue of the root cause. Joking! 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 in Wuhan, China, of all places. Wuhan. Drug materials that are going to the Mexican drug cartels that they're pumping across that southern border like that's a modern He's on the front board. page, that's why. I think why. it is going to take a U.S. They president that's going to have a very different conversation with Xi Jinping than what Joe Biden just had in California. I will tell Xi Jinping, let's work together on this this fentanyl stuff. Or go to universities in this country. U.S. businesses won't expand into the Chinese market until they're playing by the same set of rules. And the same country that's putting fentanyl into illegal pharmaceuticals in Mexico, it's no coincidence, is the exact same country that also unleashed hell on the world with the COVID-19 pandemic. We also have to hold them accountable with every financial lever that we have available. Thank you. That is what it actually means to stand with a spine. And you mark my words, if we're willing to stand with the spine, China will absolutely have to fold because they're in a tougher spot than we are. So Fox and friends, join us on the trail. We'll have some fun. I'll see you at the trail. Let's talk about the economy. What is China folding me? Homeownership has always been part of the American dream, but it's increasingly out of reach for younger Americans. This always year, mortgage rates reached 30-year highs. Home prices have risen $190,000 over the past decade. Is this the free market at work, or should the federal government the do well, something to make homes more affordable? Well, first of all, I mean, you're exactly right. My daughter just got married, and I saw how hard it was for her and her husband to buy a home. Lots of people here. You made so much money. The average homeowner in America is 49 years old. You've got young people everywhere. That used to be the American dream, and now it's out of reach. But you look at what happened. You first of all look at what the Fed did. The Fed did a terrible job when they allowed all of that money to go through. You saw the Treasury bond rates go up. That affected mortgage rates. That affected automobile rates. That affected insurance rates. And so now we have a high interest rate. You've got a supply issue. Ask any builder. The supply issues have continued to be there. We should have some uh, people enter the labor force who want to come. 
to America. That have gone up. And so what you have is uh, a lot of younger people no, that would rather have the meat submerged so that they can depress but wages. But two, the banks aren't lending them any money. They've made the regulations so hard that they don't want to give loans on mortgages anymore. Poor so banks. what we have to do is we have to open it up. We have to. It's not a question of regulations. It's just so a question of the, in the interest rates. We've got to look oh, at the God. supply chain and make sure that we are funneling that so that builders don't have to sit there and go overseas to find things. You've got to funnel and then that. we need Thanks. to make sure that we really stop well, paying this, down this debt, chain. make sure that we stop the borrowing, funnel stop down the spending. I'll veto any spending bill that doesn't take right. us back to pre-COVID levels because our kids are not going to forgive us for all the spending that happened. I already don't. And as much as everybody wants to talk about how Donald Trump had a good economy, $9 trillion in debt he did just in four years. You shut your and we're all paying you the price of that, including those mortgage prices. We're going to come back to President Trump, I promise. Yeah, sure. Governor DeSantis, the latest News Nation decision desk poll found they that didn't inflation even, not tops going to the worries of American voters. 61% say they're very Honestly, concerned. The first person to walk away from this is hardest hit. Economists say this walk is right off stage of just through spending. the background to somebody else's the show. The Biden administration has added six trillion dollars to the national debt so far. But President Trump wasn't exactly a penny pincher. His administration added seven point eight trillion. Do Republicans, hmm, including President Trump, money, share the blame for inflation? It's odd. More concrete steps. It's almost like President Republicans DeSantis don't care about the uh, deficit. Take it's it's almost like that pattern will office. repeat itself. Though, that, like, as you look back into history, spending of money was both parties in Washington D.C. That's just a fact. These Republicans in Washington have spent. New Midwesterner says, "Y'all read IMs for debate coverage the occasionally. Well, you can't occasionally. afford. I met yeah. a young fella in Iowa. He had. Hey, young fella! I love when DeSantis ago, pretends like, like he wasn't a congressman. There's not a single young fella like, remaining no in to Iowa. They all moved away. And start a family. That is taking the American dream away from people. So we're going to get the inflation down. We're going to get the interest rates down. Inflation is down. Reduce spending, and I will be willing to veto. The prices are locked in. In fact, we have deflation in some sectors of the economy at this point for production lower your gas prices lower the price of gas fuel. prices are down the, the real issue is housing jobs. let's hear it, do it. But what know, are you going to do for housing young people are i'll tell you exactly loans. now i don't support having a truck driver having to pay budget. a student loan he's going to green light like more uh, studies. that is wrong scotty we should not have scotty no gender that. studies what i'm going to do though, is i'm going to get to the root cause of the problem these Projects student loans Florida, are going to be backed collapse. by the universities because they need to have an incentive to produce gainful employment for people they should not be indulging in ideological studies they should be focusing on things that work and we're going to take some of this money and we're going to move it to actual vocational training in Florida, we doubled apprenticeships. We have more truck drivers. These Education are in is skills. only Don't for funneling people you into the only work way the you can be successful is through a four-year brick and IV degree. That's one way you can be. It's not the only way. Where did he go to school again? That problem in the United States huh. of America. What was it? Did he go to Harvard Law or yes, Harvard yeah. Underground? Yeah. You prayed, praised yeah, cryptocurrency oh, yeah? like that? Bitcoin as an opt-out from our oh, here we go. broken financial architecture, and you oppose efforts to regulate it. The head of the largest international crypto exchange just pleaded guilty to allowing his platform to launder money for terrorists, oh, including Hamas. Oh, oh, damn it. Say your that cryptocurrency happens. plan will, quote, Isn't ensure that what a decentralized freedom platform? for Americans, end quote. Uh, Won't it also ensure economic freedom for fraudsters, criminals, and terrorists? Look, fraudsters, criminals, and terrorists have been defrauding people for a long time. Our regulations need to catch up with the current moment. Oh, we need the more regulations. The SBF was able to do what he did at FTX shows that whatever they have as the current framework isn't working. And I think it is nothing short of embarrassing that Gary Gensler, the current leader of the SEC, in front of Congress could not even say whether Ethereum counted as a regulated security or not. And so I think that this is just another example of the We need to have stronger regulations. Uh, Thank I you, appreciate Here's it. a little secret in American politics today. The people who we elect to run the government the vague are rhymes the with ones who are even regulate. running the government. It is the bureaucrats in those three-letter agencies that are writing regulations oh. that Congress never gave them the authority to write. And the good news is Wait, that's a, a different, U.S. President something different can now. absolutely fix that. That takes a U.S. president with a spine. So what I've said is in my administration, by the end of year one, we will have a 75% reduction in the number of federal bureaucrats. Oh my God! We so we've moved from we need more regulation to now we need to X the exact administrative state. Exactly. exactly. The test. No, you don't think that something's regulated? We're going to make sure it isn't. Supreme Court case of our lifetime. 
that said if Congress didn't delegate that to an administrative agency, my name then is it's Vivek. Unconstitutional. Rhymes with regulate, which also rhymes changes. with don't regulate. These are big changes that the next president can deliver without asking Congress for permission or for forgiveness. We're talking about crypto, you know. that distinction because people have been sold myths it's by politicians when, for a long time, saying yeah. I'm going to work with crypto Congress supporters to do this don't want to talk about crypto because they usually only want to talk about politicians. Crypto. Well, fit that description. They need Congress. The things that I'm promising you, he's, this what, is what, what he knows is, is that to when they get allow him to keep talking, he doesn't Thank stop. You, Cut down the bureaucracy, well, why don't grow our economy, and put the Federal Reserve in its place as part of the crypto no, no. discussion. Thank no, you for no, speaking while I'm You're out of time. 15 seconds, Governor DeSantis. So one, one of the dangers that we're going to face, Biden wants, is a central bank digital currency. They want to get rid of cash, crypto. They want to force what? you to do that. They'll take away your privacy. Get well, cash. Wait, get rid of cash, crypto. No, they want to get rid of cash and move to digital president, currency. We take the idea of central it's bank digital currency. It's not get rid of cash currency, and crypto. I mean, digital currency. Crypto is part of getting rid of cash. Second hour to get to it's exciting, and when we come like back, crypto nerds don't know that huge, actually they're part of the say. attack on the actual <laughs> privacy technology, which is yes, the cash, cash, money. cash business. <laughs> All right, why don't you uh, put up that uh, poll? While oh, I yes, go uh, make sure that I have uh, more water to drink. Yes, go go that. get some more water. Um. All right. Yeah. Put this up just because I feel like it's useful to track. Um, oh, my God. Is this RFK? RFK is on Cuomo next uh, on uh, Cuomo's News Nation show. How did he get into town? Um, all right. So no, no, scroll down to uh, the, the chart. This is the part that, that's like the most helpful visual aid here. So the closest it's ever been. What is that? March 2023? Like before DeSantis announced? Uh, okay. So that's... Wait, wait. Hold on. Okay. So... Uh, the differential there is 15.4. Mm -hmm. Keep going to the right, to the right. Right there, yeah. That's the closest, I think. Like 13. Thir plus, thir or, you know, Trump's 13.2. That was the closest DeSantis has, has ever gotten. And that was before he really started officially running, right? Yeah. And then when he started officially running, it was a complete nosedive. And it's been that way ever since. That that small bump. Not what you want to see. Yeah. So, so that was like around. That was late February. And he announced the campaign in late May. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so, as soon as he announced his campaign, right, May, there's a huge dip after he announces his yeah, campaign. May 28th here, right after. And Trump has been steadily climbing, climbing, honestly, ever since DeSantis announced his campaign. So that's like three days after, and Trump and and DeSantis is down 32 points. And Haley looks like the most sustained momentum, actually, besides. Oh, yeah. Trump well, momentum. she's just she's just taking she's just taking DeSantis, DeSantis yeah. votes and maybe picking up like some of the other ones who dropped out. Two points here for Rick uh, for uh, Tim Scott. Two points here for Burgum. You know, no. Uh, again, a she point she, here from uh, Asa Hutchinson. I've said this before. She's just trying to um, essentially like play well at the end of a lost season on a terrible team as the starting quarterback in order to just hope that she has a starting like. A shot at the starting role next year, even though they're going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL. That's what it feels like at this point. Uh, terrible uh, degenerator says 10 out of 10 sound drops tonight, folks. Uh, yes. Teacher Dan says, Hey, is that the Santa is white lady? That's correct, actually. That is her. Um, before, uh, what's her name? Megan, what? Kelly. Me before Megan Kelly was the. The lady who was bleeding all night, she was the bleeding uh, Santa bleeding is out of white wherever. lady. Santa oh, is white. That's oh, just how it Santa is. Santa is white. Fart Wayne says, stage feels eerily empty without my boy, Burgum. Um, <laughs> terrible generator. I swear the next question better be about NFTs. Uh, teacher Dan, so he's saying that he has a spine. Trifle flops. I hope once DeSantis drops out of the race that he starts a line of high heel boots for men or opens a restaurant chain called... Meatball Ron. They're Lucchese off the rack. <laughs> oh, off the rack. <laughs> Sentiment modernity tomorrow night in this time slot on News Nation is Cuomo. Uh, Lydia Rose, I went to college on the GI Bill, and I think all people should enjoy free college without having to sign up for the military. Yep. Yes. Well. Uh, lefty band teacher, I majored in ideological studies. <laughs> Nutty Dan, <laughs> knowledge is woke. Uh, between the 101 and the 5. Is this pause? Yeah, what's going on? Maybe we press the live button. I feel like I could use some of that purveyor, whatever that was. Oh, I could, Dan I Abrams on new, uh, News Nation. 
Isn't he the media guy? It really is like the the uh, island of misfit. Uh, oh my god, Cuomo in uh, in military gar- uh, garb. Uh, between the one hundred and five, tuning in between ga- gigs, just wanted to ask: Has anyone else noticed how Nikki Haley literally talks through like gritted teeth? Not to be mean, <laughs> but it's like she's always clenching her teeth when she talks. A little bit tense. Uh, Sentinel Margini. She hates all those guys. She Why hates is any of this so happening? Much. Except uh, that's a good Steve. question. Yeah. Uh, Web de boyish. Uh, structural poverty contributed to the fentanyl crisis uh, more than China. It's about American economic austerity, not no, the it's, China. It's about nefarious others. From outside. And it's <laughs> also about how, like the uh, the heroin trade has gotten a little bit more difficult um, in part because of our withdrawal from Afghanistan and also because it's just like difficult to transport. Welcome back, everyone. So you all we are back, a lot of ladies time and gentlemen, criticizing each other on the uh, stage, as Governor Christie pointed out, and less so for most of you on the front runner so. in this race. Donald oh, here we go. The Donald Trump. Uh, she's bleeding. She's bleeding all over the place. No, but it's disgusting. Come, but we'd like to ask totally you disgusting. about him now. DeSantis looks like you're giddy. So he and I have to definitely debate. That's what I love. To bring back and expand his program restricting immigration from Muslim countries. Here he is in totally. Iowa on October 16th. No longer will we allow dangerous so lunatics, tan. haters, bigots, and maniacs to get residency in our country. We're not going to let them stay here. Haters, you bigots, and maniacs. With radical, Islamic terrorists. <laughs> An extremist, you're disqualified. You're just disqualified. <laughs> you're disqualified. Professor Haley, do you disqualified? Do you agree to ban the maniacs? I don't think that you have a straight up Muslim ban as much as you look at the countries that have terrorist activity that want to hurt Americans. You do. And those are mostly Muslims. People from those countries. That's the way we should look at it. Uh, which countries are a threat to us? Disgusting. You look at what came across the southern border. What worries me the most are those that came from Iran, from Yemen, from Lebanon. She those was unloyal. Areas where they not say loyal. To America. Sorry, That's where you not be loyal. Careful. Where did you come religion. from? Actually, it's about a fact that certain countries are dangerous name? and are threats. Nick, that's Nick, a president Nick, has Nick, one Nick, job, Nick, and yes. that's Nick, to keep Nick, America Nick, safe. Nick, She's and not that's loyal. What we've got to do is, is make sure that we have good there? national She's security in that loyal. process. And that's the way you should look at it: is where the terrorist threats are, how we're going to deal with it, and what we're doing about it. And the biggest threat we have right now is communist China. But you have to also look at what Iran and Russia are doing as well, and we need to be paying attention to that. That's why we have to focus on things like cyber, on space, on artificial intelligence and not just the regular things that we've always focused on. It's not just, it's not just terrorism, though. That's important. But look what's happened in Europe. You have more anti-Semitism in Germany than at any time since Adolf Hitler. Why? Because uh, they imported mass numbers of people who reject their culture. Europe is committing suicide with the mass migration, and it's illegal and legal. Well, European uh, suicide, I mean, there should be no think about what we will on, do on economically with no CEO Europe there. Should set the That's policy not true. On that. There lying. needs to be limits on immigration, and we should not be importing people from cultures that are hostile. So, for cultures. example, I said with the Gaza, you had some of the, the, the squad the with the Gaza, 300,000 people from the Gaza Strip. I said, no, we're not taking anyone from Gaza because of the anti-Semitism and because they reject American culture. So we've got to get smart they about reject so American this. Culture? This is States a great example like of what we've been talking about on the show. Exactly. Other right-wingers are redefining anti-Semitism, meaning anti-white, what they just said. Western There are things hegemony. that the government can do right now that nobody's talking about amongst the professional politicians in this race. What about all of the illegals who are already here? Yeah. Meanwhile, the Ramaswamy is talking about There's puppet masters. G in the law. In that is debate. a provision that already allows ICE agents to deputize or allow it's local law enforcement to enforce those ICE wars. <clears throat> And it shocks me that nobody's been Republican clearing her throat multiple times when he speaks, and I think she knows what she's doing. Officials, <laughs> oh, you think she's law just enforcement officials in this country. Yes. And against that backdrop, or it's we absolutely she have the ability to Thank deport you. anybody who's in this country illegally. Thank you, we Mr. Ramaswamy. We need to be talking about more in this, in Thank this country. Thank you. Governor Christie. You actually did that as governor of South Carolina. Governor Christie asked last night I in was Iowa incredibly whether he would be a dictator too. if he wins a second term in office. Donald Trump quipped, no, quote, except for day one. Promise to seal the southern border. He has also pledged to begin the largest deportation operation in American history, saying that migrants are, quote, poisoning the blood of our country. He has pledged to round up and expel an estimated 11 million undocumented immigrants in the United States. What do you make of that plan? (laughs) 
I think it's completely predictable. I mean, look, he's made it very clear. There's no mystery to what he wants to do. He endorsed him after the Muslim ban. He started off his campaign out. by saying, Chris Christie was I the first guy to drop out and endorse Trump. Eight years ago, he said, I am your voice. And this I said, an I'll be your voice. This is man who now wants to be back as president because he wants to exact retribution on anyone who has disagreed with him, anyone who has tried to hold him to account for his own conduct. Yeah, and every is a Republican. one of these policies that he's talking about are about pursuing a plan of retribution. And yet, at the first debate, my three colleagues on this stage, when asked if he would be convicted of federal felonies, would they still support him, raised their hand, looked into the camera, and let everybody know that they would still support him, even if convicted of Cucks, federal, fel okay. federal felonies, by the way. Yeah, because they're smart. Federal felonies, which involve our election process, federal and fe felonies, which involve the most I'm, I'm here for this. I think this is secrets. good for Republican voters federal to hear. Federal felonies, yep. where he instructed totally. others to commit crimes. Folks who are now agreeing to go to jail because of what they did in his name. So do I think he was kidding when he said he was a dictator? All you have to do is look at the history. And that's why failing to speak out against him, making excuses for him, pretending that somehow he's a victim, empowers him. You want to know why those poll numbers are where they are? Because folks like these three guys on the stage make it seem like his conduct is oh, acceptable. Oh, absolutely. I, I like he's got nothing left to lose. He's done this. He's few unfit. Of these. And be careful of what you're going to get. If you ever got another Donald Trump term, he's letting you know, I am your retribution. Thank he will you. only be, Elizabeth, he will only be his own retribution. He doesn't care for the American people. It's Donald Trump first. Thank he you. and I have to definitely debate. Governor DeSantis. Thank you. Thank you. Governor DeSantis, Donald Trump would be older on day one of his second question. presidency than Joe Biden was on day one of his first. You have said Trump is not the same man he, he was sick. when he ran in 2016. It's Your campaign true. is running ads showing Trump confused. And you have said he has, quote, lost the zip on his fastball. You seem to be saying Donald Trump is no longer mentally fit to be fast, president. Oh my is God, that what you think? Weasel out Look, of this. He, he is showing, father time is undefeated. The idea that we're oh, going to put someone up there that's almost 80 and there's going to be no effects from that, we all know that podcast. that's not true. Uh, and so we have an opportunity to do a next generation of leaders Maybe and really you? be able to move, move this country forward. We also need a president that can serve two terms. Uh, I don't think Donald Trump, I think he's going to have a, I don't think he'd be, be able to get elected. The Democrats wanted to be the nominee. You see that. They're going to turn the screws you the minute so he careful. got the nomination. But do you think he's going to be so careful? You see the nervous rush. He's so careful. Why are you sweating, Ron? Ron, it looks like there's a little bit of sweat right just above your lip. The media's making a big deal about what he said about some of these comments. I would just remind people. Uh, that is not how he governed. He didn't even fire Dr. Fauci. He didn't fire oh, Christopher Ray. He yeah, didn't clean he's up the swamp. He said he was going to drain it. He did not drain it. Why he need Ron? Build the wall and have Mexico Why need people. Ron to sanctimonious? Didn't uh, uh, Newsom smoke you on the COVID stuff about how you program. wore a mask? Why don't you go to He supported less than Barack Obama did when Barack Obama was president. So some of the some of these policies he ran on in 16. I was cheering him on then. Why don't you go debate some other Democratic governors yeah. who are not running for president? 100% of the things I promised as governor, I delivered on those promises. Hey, five I beat times the left nice time you, and time again. And that really was seems was like you can't... Um, we hey, Father Gravity, uh, let me be 6'5". <laughs> we've got to start getting these issues. I will go in and wreak havoc on this bureaucracy. You will see people... Ron to short we stuff. Why isn't he just answer the question? The question was very direct. Is he fit to be president or isn't he? The rest of the speech is interesting, but completely non-responsive. And if we were in a courtroom, they'd strike the answer and say, and Chris DeSantis. Christie is just well, a total wrecker, isn't he? Guy. It's fun. No, they I mean, well, they're all wreckers in their own the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he, but he, you you well, um, as you know, what's best saying. for society is pursued by the is individual's own uh, personal interests. Talking about him being 80 years old. Doesn't mean that somebody is he fit? Is he fit? Governor DeSantis, let him. Let him. What has happened to the Democrats? Yes. You don't have to no worry about all I'm this stuff with Ron. Stop, Sanders. We can get it done. Stop. We'll do it. I'm going to come to you. Oh, she's Finish. got a lot of blood. Look, 
Father Time is undefeated. Look at that cut. Look at that. <laughs> so much blood. Look at that Dressing top. Look at that so much blood. We have an opportunity you know to nominate someone red to like that. for two You're terms. Hitting hitting blood He's going to be spitting nails on day one and for eight years like delivering you Jonah Hill and super bad. Bad. We should not nominate somebody he won't who's, answer. In, who's, who's almost 80 years old. Okay. He's afraid to answer. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, no, you have to no. either, either you're no. afraid or you're not listening. No, I'm not. It's a simple you question. Is he fit? Hey, is he fit? Hey, hey, nobody can hear this. Like, no one can hear you. They can't hear you. It, you finish. And I can hear them. All right. No, I hear them. Like, like, I'm, I'm a simple guy. Okay? I hear the question, yes. and I answer it. one word, adjective. Is he fit or isn't he? I'll concede you're fit, Ron. You're a new generation. You're 44 <laughs> years old. I wish I was still 44 years old. Okay? You're 44 and you're 44. Well, I'd still take 45. Is he fit or is he? And this is the problem with my three colleagues. Well, not just you're your three colleagues. I offend. would say like 80% yeah, of the party. Most of the voters. If you're afraid to offend Donald Trump, then what are you going to do when you sit across from President Xi, uh, you sit across from it's the It's so Ayatollah, funny. This is such a great attack. You sit across from Putin. By their own you logic. You have to be willing to offend with the truth. Okay. And it's answer the question. It's not about offending. Okay. Okay. I am a truth okay. offender. A minute. And, and not and a full minute. minute. Got, yeah, exactly. You should have maybe got to this early on. Then we're it's on. about pointing out, do you want to elect somebody who will be older than Biden was when he went in 2021? No, that's what Christie I, pointed out. I don't out. think he was, he was he's as bad as I want to make it generically all, about age, okay? Just let me do that. Period, it is not a job for somebody that's pushing 80. We need somebody that's younger. We need somebody that's going to be able to go in there and clean house okay. on day one so he, and do it for two How many older voters are in Florida? Just a question. Debate is all three of them have been licking Donald Trump's boots for years. All right, bro, Ron, you, I mean, well. Ron DeSantis, you've been a great governor, but you would have never been one without actually begging Donald Trump for that endorsement. Thank you. you. Same thing for your Nikki Haley. Same thing with Chris Christie as a lobbyist, begging them for COVID money for his special I mean, interests let's in be clear. New Jersey, prepping Probably him for all the debates true. last time around. Hate These to say it. Now Monday morning quarterback some it. decision he made. I think the real enemy is not Donald Trump. It's yeah, not even Joe Biden. It is the deep state that at least Donald Trump attempted to take I'm Mr. Online. On. If you want somebody who's going to speak truth to power, the state, then vote for somebody who's going to speak the truth to you. John Why am I the only person on the stage, at least, who can say that January 6th now does look like it was an inside job? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, in the sense that the president of the United the States is responsible for it. <laughs> That's his inside I feel like the, the government was associated with this. I think this might go all the way to the top. If you know. <laughs> Stolen by big tech. That the twenty six and big con. Vivek mentioned John Trump Nichols' challenge. One for sure was also <laughs> one that was stolen from him by the national security establishment. Okay. That actually she just did it again. I swear to freaking God, this is her tick when he speaks. She just cleared her throat for like the fourth time. <laughs> That's what it's going to take, not people who are licking his boots one time and now Monday okay. morning quarterback him and criticizing him when it's convenient. He keeps saying Don't boots. his boots and Monday morning quarterback. That sounds like you're defending him. These people are lifting his boots, right, Ron? He's Monday uh, morning quarterback, quarterback because he's never held elected office. Right so he's like, I'm going to I'm gonna keep repeating my headline joke from today. Wait, abrupt shift to boot lickers and boot lifters. Yes, it's very good. I didn't get credit. You just messed up because I'm just shocked about him to be so thirsty about it. I was so impressed. <laughs> it's waiting for like How is it 20 minutes to drop to that bomb okay on you guys. Surgeries. Neither one of you like. No, no you it messed it up because you yeah. said you, you got the vague's name wrong. Yeah, 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 I mean, own it, it. own it. No, that was like a sleep because I, I, I was checking out. Believe <laughs> in less government, not more. In less involvement with government, I've got a tweet that's got like 30,000 people's lives. And you know what, Megan? I trust really. Yeah. And we're out there oh, saying that we uh, empower Tracy parents and education. On uh, Twitter says, parents to make more uh, Sam, we're trying to listen to the debate. Will you I stop agree. talking? No. no. <laughs> because I have respect for their uh, News Nation's their copyright. And we're, uh, it's called fair use. Okay. Fair use. And yet we want to take other parental rights away. I'm sorry. As a father. Because you're not having real conversations. <laughs> there is no one who loves my children more than me. Hmm. There's no one Which who one? loves my children What's more than my wife. There's oh, no one who cares more about their success and health in life. Yeah, I don't care about do. them. Not some government bureaucrat. Not some. You look at these jokers down in Congress, 
It takes them three weeks to pick a speaker. And up until two days ago, they it's couldn't promote somebody again. in the military of the United States Senate. That's a, he's really knocking rank. all the Republicans. And we're going to put my children's health and my decision. Dude is I like when he talks about his children. For his, them uh, to make those decisions. Son for went Joe to Biden school at my to one of my brother's schools. For and he me once helicoptered my wife, into the, let me his, just say uh, baseball this. game. This is not something I favor. I think I, I, I got to think he is like literally in between interviews but at CNN opinion, for a uh, and I um, get to make the decision to turn my job. Yeah. That's what tough talk with, with every with parent CC. out there who's watching tonight. You start to turn over just a little bit of this authority. The authority they're going to take from you next. You're not going to like I'll stand up for parents each and every time. So there are laws you do banning not, you smoking do not have, or drinking by a certain age. Let me tell you something. I have a follow-up question for him, and you guys are going to get to weigh in. Okay? Here's my follow-up She's bleeding all over this place. You got kindergarten teacher energy right now. When you were governor in 2017, you signed a law that required new guidelines for schools dealing with transgender students. Those guidelines required schools to accept a child's preferred gender yep, identity before the moral panic the <laughs> before the moral panic not true. and it said that there is no Wokester. duty for schools to notify parents if their son or daughter changes Snitch. their gender identity okay. allowing this serious issue That's to remain a secret the between kid. the school and a child. Uh, How is any that of that great parental rights? By the rights? way, that's simply not true. You're doing what you accuse me that's of, simply, Chris. It is absolutely that's true. That's simply not true. That's Blue simply not governor. true. That law was put into effect in 2018 and regulated in 2018 before I, after oh, I was out of office, the Megan. No, it, no, we did not, Megan. We did not issue those guidelines, no. and you're wrong about that. Simply wrong. I have stood up each and every time. So I think if this on is one issue choice, that's disqualifying, on. it's this one. I, I stood up every single time. Oh, for yeah. parents to be able to make the decisions for their minor children. Again, this is his biggest liability. Time, parents should make those decisions. Yeah. And by the way, you know what? Every once in a while, parents are going to make decisions that we disagree with. But the minute you start to take those rights away from parents, you don't know Jump in, that Nikki. slippery slope, what rights are going to be taken away okay. next, and you what's going to be You do not have, as you. a Go parent, ahead. you do not have the right to abuse your kids. This is cutting off their genitals. Psycho audience. Mutilating these minors. These are irreversible procedures. Um, uh, and this is something. What about circumcision in Europe, like Sweden? Yeah. Once they started doing it, they, oh, they love bringing up Sweden. damage. They've shut it down. I signed legislation Let's in be clear Florida here. The science is completely, the completely of because like it is not really Sweden ambiguous. Sweden hasn't shut, not shut it down. No. In this country. They've just simply and, and reevaluated their me, assessments. I think he has an honest position. Uh, Nikki disagrees with me. She opposes the bill that we did to ban that. She said the law shouldn't get involved not. with it. You said the law shouldn't get involved with it. She also, though, I think, and this is flawed well, from she's what against she did big as government, Ron. South Carolina. You know, they had a bill to try to say that men shouldn't go into girls' bathrooms. And she killed that bill, and she bragged that she killed that bill. Even to this day, she bragged that. It's I don't so think amazing. Going like, into do you bathroom. imagine, like, 40 years from now, when they're talking about the idea of, like, looking back and, like, Men really and women I, I going into bathrooms was a big issue in the presidential. Yes, is a yeah. mental health it's be it's so odd to me. Like, what do they think happens in bathrooms? We you think everyone's you checking each other's genitalia out? Of and I just Maybe they do that at to go one step further and support what I think is clearly within the authority to do using federal <laughs> funds, just like Reagan did in '84 for the. Highway I gotta, Act like, that said gotta the let them know that women's bathrooms are like that. We can do the same thing when it comes to banning genital mutilation or chemical castration. Okay. I know Ron's been okay. unclear about that on the federal Haley. level. I'm crystal clear. That's where I stand. Got and it. That's a mental health disorder. That and see you out on the train. Mm -hmm. So first of all, Ron has continued to lie because he's losing. No, it's it's ah! You are lying. You so said first it on of, tape. You're a loser. So first of all, I will say that when I was governor, 10 years ago, when the bathroom situation came I, up. I think Ron DeSantis, the bathroom literally, <laughs> Ron DeSantis literally just checked to see if his fly and was down. I, I, I swear to you, he, just he has no idea. I think with Republican his politics is just like, oh yeah, 10 years ago when the, when the bathroom situation and came up. Like, like it was Pearl Harbor or something. They use a private bathroom. Now, 10 years later, we see that this issue has exploded. And this Not shows how really. Ron continues no, to be. Just in your little echo chamber. 
became a he moral panic at that point. He said he didn't think bathroom bills were a good use of his time. You can go. He was right. I signed a bathroom bill in Florida, so but that's Jesus. all. I was the first bathroom bill. I was the bathroom guy. I, I spent more times yeah. in bathrooms than you've yeah. even hey. been alive. I gave in to the yeah. shitty Republicans, yeah. Yeah. and you that's basically it. what you I want from me, right? <laughs> No one knows their way around a public restroom more than me. Just in South Carolina. I'll be Some in the, the bathroom more than I'll be in the time. Oval Office. I can't get out of the bathroom. bathroom. I'm in the bathroom more than I'm in the fitting room. <laughs> you won't catch me sitting down <laughs> in the bathroom. The upstate of South Carolina. I signed the bill. I protected the girl. Do you know South Carolina? She did not. I spent a lot of time. Yeah, let me wait till we get to shower heads. You are not going to talk about my state like that because I will tell you. Whoa. South Carolinians never allowed that to happen. And we never had that happen in our bathroom. What I have always said is boys going to a boys bathroom, Don't girls going to a girls bathroom. bathroom. But hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. I also We said, need to spend more this time in the garden. Boys go in boys bathroom. And, bathrooms girls and going I will girls. do everything I can to stop that because it's the women's issue of our Hand time. goes up. I Everybody quiet. <laughs> single file. We do single file when we're going to gym Thank class. You guys. We're going to move on. Mr. Ramaswamy. <laughs> When discussing your Hindu faith in September, so I have, uh, you seem you to know, take she, a shot at Ambassador Haley, who was also Indian American and who converted to Christianity questions. as an adult. You, know, you can see there was blood said, coming out of her eyes. You said the only thing you need to do uh, in your petition is to shorten my name, profess to be a Christian, and then run. Make Vivek Vicky or whatever, end quote. Are you questioning Nikki Haley's Christian convictions? And why is your campaign Whoa. made a point of referring to Ambassador Haley by her given first name, Nimarada, even though she's gone by Nikki, because I'm trying life. to distract well, from the fact uh, that I have maybe darker skin. To pronounce my name correctly. The rest of the news media can learn it. My deal is I'll call her Nikki when she can say my own name right. That's our little uh, side. That's a little joke we Here's have to Here's what I will us. say is deeper. I don't question her faith, but I question her well, authenticity. And I think that's deeper that's here. We were just thing. talking about the trans issue. This is a symptom of a deeper cancer in American life. Mm, Identity no. politics. This new religion that says your race, your gender, and your sexuality you are your identity. It is anti-American. It religion. is meritocratic. No. It's anti-meritocratic. Right it is religion. dividing this country to a breaking point. And I've spoken. I gotta say, to the he's left. a My good politician. This. I preach this in the, the sense that he yes. gets right to what he wants to talk to about, regardless of the question. We're talking about that. Transition. And he also and has nothing to lose. Sounded like a woke he's down at like whatever four percent, so he just goes for it. Kick in heels. Um, at the first debate, he's having fun out on the track. Get this job done. That's what she said. After the third debate, when I criticized Ronna McDaniel after five failed years of leadership of this party and criticized Nikki for her corrupt foreign yes. dealings as a military contractor, Mike Pillow, she said that I 2028. have a woman problem. Nikki, I don't have a woman problem. You have a corruption problem. And I think that that's what people Ooh, need to so know. Good. I love it. Nikki is corrupt. Whoa. This is a woman who is he brought up, he brought up so That's what they were writing the before the debate. That's so funny. But this is, but this is also the exactly. This is going to be played over and over again yeah. tomorrow. It's fantastic. Yes. I guarantee you, it's just a brilliant stunt. It's funny because Nikki and Ron are real candidates, and then Vivek the and Christy are just puppet, records. And yep. And also, Vivek, I mean, uh, Christy. She's a, no. been a cancer um, from Nikki the is a woman, and, and so the there's a certain. In this so she's a record too. Fra no, but like fraction of the audience is going to get okay, off on this. Right. Taking thank her down Haley, a side. Would you like to respond? No. She should write something down. Vivek is worth, you know. You, you no, it is, Nikki. It's worth your time. She's above it. She's weak. She's too weak. You know, Nikki, you can't. Is hey, that the way you're going to respond uh, to Putin? Yeah, why are you there? Okay, then? we got to move on to. Why are you to there this. for that to respond to? Now, by arrangement uh, with the Republican National Committee, we've got some questions for that. you <laughs> about the Justice Department and our election system. You see, there was Tom blood coming out of her eyes. Judicial Watch, Governor uh, Christie. Blood coming out of her, wherever. President Trump and many of his supporters claim federal Judicial law enforcement watch guy. agencies have abused his civil rights Who's this for the guy? last eight you years Tom by... Fitton? But is he on uh, News Nation? On this is just an ad for the prosecuting network. Prosecuting him while having yeah, treated Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden with kid gloves. A recent Gallup poll here. shows that Americans think more highly of the U.S. Postal Service 
than they do the rocks. FBI or Justice Department. Hell yeah. That's great. It's amazing. Yeah, the FBI and Justice be Department honest. suck. Yeah, what are you talking people. about? Post office. I get stuff from the post office all the it's time. Like, it's literally well, like magic. First off, I'm the only person on this stage who's actually people done like a job. People like chocolate more than the like Justice, dog food. Less than 50, than 50 cents gets you to move law. like a this piece of mail no matter where you're going. sending it. It's like the Dave Rubin thing. People hate the post office. It's like the future. And it was an extraordinary time in this country to be on the front lines of fighting the greatest attack against our country. But entrapping young Muslim kids. Exactly. I sent Muslims to prison just for being Muslim. We were, we had, you know, thousands of SUVs for Dick's five folks with Google agents eating McDonald's. And told putting each binoculars at mouth. Google the Fort Dix Five, to make sure uh, and you'll see what a decrepit human being. Regardless of Chris partisanship, Christie. regardless of gender, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why it's or any other consideration. And that's what we did for seven years, and at a time when our country he really should be in jail for that bridge thing. But let's not in the last dwell on 40 that. years. We did exactly that, and there was not another domestic terrorist attack on this soil. So what I would do as president, having had that experience, and the only one who's had that experience, is to pick an attorney general who will absolutely do the same thing that John Ashcroft did, to pick U.S. attorneys who will only care about making sure that justice is done without regard to any other consideration but the facts that are presented and whether someone is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt and the government can prove it. We have had attorneys general Only like God, no Eric Holder. That's John Ashcroft, yes. incidentally, and ladies and gentlemen. Let and now, our current attorney general. He had a barbershop quartet while in office. And the only way you restore people's faith in the justice system is to put someone like that in charge of the I justice actually think department. he has a nice voice. And then as president, to get the hell out of the way on anything that involves criminal investigations. If a president's involved in trying to do something and put their thumb on the scales, Donald Trump says he will do. Emma has that a life-size poster of John Ashcroft in her apartment. Yeah. Heartthrob. Rock and roll, baby. When you were a high school student, heartthrob. Yep, rock and Many roll. Republicans are concerned about the legitimacy of elections. Not again. A federal this judge getting a lot of airtime. <laughs> must count undated mail-in ballots. And unlike Alabama, many states God. still don't require any All of these like, Republican of politicians look like What should states mad do now to increase election integrity? And voter confidence. The election was stolen. How about election. stop talking about how the elections were well, stolen? That will probably help voter confidence. You guys doing probably. Judicial watch. probably. It's really, really thing. important. There's a lot of corruption in this government. He you can't hear you, Ron. Just answer the question. <laughs> do we did in Florida? <laughs> 20 years ago, How is it Florida that it's and elections was a six joke. months since Everyone we heard that at least. At uh, I came in, I removed that a couple gotta be taken out of supervisors from South Florida. A little bit we more. require I actual voter service. ID universal, no Zuckerbucks, no mass mail balloting, and no ballot harvesting. We even have an agency what? that prosecutes people uh, for violating election laws. Ask? The result of no that in both Facebook, 2020 uh, and 2022, saying, hey, uh, millions you can find your polling place by clicking on the link. Oh my God. <laughs> the result. It was Viva Swama Trail said I Googled Fort Dix Fort by mistake. <laughs> I think it's important. Not every state is where we need it to be. There is ballot harvesting in places like Nevada, all these places. I am I not going to fight with one hand tied behind my back. I'm going to have organizations in all the swing states. If they're harvesting, you know who we're Danny. harvesting. If they're Zuckerbucks, you know, we're Zuckerbucks. We I, are going to exploit whatever uh, the rules are. I favor changing the rules to be like Florida and some of the other states that have done a good job. But until um, then, we have to do that in the just, know, to, on the Justice Department and FBI. Them. I mean, I remember being <laughs> uh, in a working is with FBI on the ground we and, being, uh, <laughs> and then I was a special assistant. I used to have such a high regard for that these is the most disturbing what clip. they did to Donald People Trump. People don't Trump. even know what that is. <laughs> I would say like 98% of the people listening have no idea what that is. And I know exactly what the guy looked like. <laughs> the deep crimson. <laughs> uh, we're going to clear out the DOJ, the IRS, all these places. <laughs> Put uh, yourself. Will you explain? There was a what, North Carolina? Tennessee. Tennessee. Tennessee, like he was like the Speaker of the House. Like, All right, you know, turn this uh, debate down. Whew. This is more important. He was the what lieutenant, was it, the governor. Lieutenant, lieutenant governor, lieutenant governor of Tennessee, and he was DMing with like a. He would comment. He commented on this picture of like a, a younger man and like a, basically a thong or a speed. He was horny on Maine on the account of a twink from Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> and he was 
was like, and he was like, you, he was like, so and so, you could brighten. He was like, you could brighten anyone's day. Yeah. Oh. I'm just trying to support people. Oh, and he was a 79 year old man. So yeah. Uh, yeah. No. I just wanted to. Support. You know, you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes, <laughs> uh, blood coming out of her wherever. wherever. <laughs> Oh my god! I and just, so when he he was caught by local this is him. local news, and he said uh, this, he said, "Pop it you know, up." Uh, oh wait, we have. Uh, do we have the video? We no, gotta the we video got a photo at least. We gotta have. A, how do we not have this uh, able to like? Randy, we, I sent a screen grab. Randy McNally. You know, I, I, uh, you know, try to encourage people with posts and try to, um, you know, help them. <laughs> Uh, if I can. Uh, Helping them by saying it's a sh- sunshine I mean, day to that, those ass cheeks. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the amazing thing about it is if, if that was like even like even close to the truth, that would be, you know, pretty sweet oh, yeah. and you know, pretty good for you, guy. Like everybody come into your own. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to judge you uh, in that respect, but I, you can't, it's very hard to. <laughs> it's very hard. Hard yeah, we have the new segment here. If you just actually... want to maybe cut, like, go to like, uh, yeah, 45 seconds into that. Why do you hope it comes out of this? Well, I think I'll be a lot more careful about <laughs> using social media. <laughs> Amid a sudden uproar over his provocative social media interactions, Tennessee Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally sits down this afternoon to answer Phil Williams' questions <laughs> about the controversy. Good evening, uh, everyone. Skip, I'm Rory Gaston. Those so social it. media for more than very kind to that community his evolving new community <laughs> initially i was not very kind to that community as i learned some things and met some people in that community i realized that they're still individuals and this <gasps> And Still I love their value. ass. In a legislative session dominated by Bill's mm. outlaw. Can you scroll to see if there's a picture of the like, actual tweets? Bradley, Bradley, his social yeah, media. there we go. There we go. <laughs> facing accusations of hypocrisy after a progressive site unearthed his social media interactions <laughs> with a 20-year-old gay oh, model. Come on. He's Among just them being supportive. Posts that were liked <laughs> by the 79-year-old Republican, <laughs> Good including fit. one where the young man doesn't appear to be wearing clothes. <laughs> when people what does that mean, doesn't posts, appear to be wearing clothes? Yeah, away from this. This guy's dick up. <laughs> well, oh my God, the game is getting get get redder. Take away a, a whole lot. In an exclusive interview, McNally described how he befriended the young man first on Facebook, then on Instagram. <laughs> he mm-hmm. was very persistent. Close up of the young man's backside. <laughs> McNally responded with three red hearts and three on fire emojis. I'm just <laughs> <along laughs> with a comment. Finn, you can turn a three on fire emojis and sunshine. It's just that, you know, I. I <laughs> Uh, you know, try to encourage people <laughs> with posts and try to, um, you know, <laughs> help them uh, if I can. Were you trying to help this young man in some sort of way? Uh, just basically trying to encourage him. There was also this post where the man said he was, quote, <laughs> wait, not a whore, I'm back in a debate. One We're supposed to be doing debate. <laughs> I'm not a hoe. Oh my also God. this post where the man said he was, quote, not a whore, but a hoe. <laughs> one is a slut. The other is a prostitute. Adding, I'm the one that gets free oh. weed for giving, then a reference to a sexual act. Thank <laughs> <laughs> oh God. I'm trying to support uh, him. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I'm supporting him. It really support. is like like a, almost like a sketch where they they keep cutting back to him and he's more red every time and more sweaty every oh, time. Oh, just in time. Uh, here we go. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Look, this is just one of the ways that we show that we're adding value. It's a completely different product than the uh, debate. The debate. So, uh, we're going to talk about fair use. college campuses. Starting with you and Thank God. Julie. We've House Republicans let's move from bathrooms to something really important, college campuses. Answer for the displays of anti-Semitism on college campuses. These oh leaders, God. including the president Didn't of Harvard, we already do this? My therapist yes, brought but this it was like 45 minutes with Dennis Prager. <laughs> would violate school policies against she says she doesn't judge my views, but then she brought up anti-Semitism on college on campuses. Context, so, Including whether that speech veers into conduct. 
How do you think these schools and the rest of society should balance the imperative of free speech against the need to prevent radical activists uh, deport from anti -Zionist, and intimidating but. others? It was disgusting. To disgusting! See what you know, if this had been the KKK that was doing protests on those campuses, everyone oh, would have been where the KKK is. Just a ludicrous. This what a joke to come from disgusting. South Carolina and make that the statement. The idea that they would go deport and allow Abby that Schwain. kind of pro Hamas <laughs> protest or agree with the genocide of Jews and try and say that they needed context on that there is no context to that well this is what context we if that's not what they said um, that's not, yeah. we have got to get foreign money out of kkk protests all got the time Arab money you've got foreign Chinese money, money you've got i mean others. i guess it's not foreign money we need to go to every university and say you either take foreign money or you take american money but the days of taking both are over the second thing we need to do how about we say free college <laughs> in every uh, state is we need biden made a mistake not including anti-zionism in the definition of anti-semitism if you don't oh. think oh, that yep. israel has a right to exist that is anti so happen in the uk change the well it does exist so that's that not what anyone look at the uk if you want to see a world where the left party ca the caved to this we bullshit. We really do need to ban TikTok once and for all. And let me tell you why. Tell your daughter. Also, minutes, Rumble the and the News Nation, I would like to ban. Every oh. day, they become How many viewers do we have on Rumble right now? More anti Semitic, more pro 17% anti Semitic? Is that what Every day? 50% yes, so. of adults. 18 to 25 We're at an think 18 that Hamas on, uh, was warranted in what they did with Israel. Hey. That's a problem. That is, when uh, campuses the... also don't go and protect when they have these rallies and you've got students that are scared, above average, we need to go this. to these universities and say, if you're not going to protect these students, if you're not going to acknowledge... Students, how are we doing on Twitch? What about the Palestinian Sorry, students? Yeah. students? Hype train? Student? What about the Palestinian <laughs> students <laughs> in Vermont got shot? I, yeah. yeah. Like, Stay with you. That's oh, I'm I'm the the one kid paralyzed for life. Yeah, exactly. The Harvard students that uh, spoke. Uh, that's not disgusting. That's just that got da a dog even by conservative Hamas's groups. Attack sure. plan and dismissed it as an aspiration. The Israelis oh. were wrong. In our country, the FBI director told the Senate panel just yesterday that he sees quote blinking red lights everywhere, and that the threat level has quote gone to a whole nother level since October 7th. Which of the threats facing our country do you worry could blindside us? What it's not about me. how Israel no. ignored intelligence. It's about what how we're going to get attacked now by terrorism. Election day, while Joe Biden's in office, that's what worries me more than anything else. But I'll tell you that America right now is acting like it's September 10th. We better remember what September 12th felt like because it only takes one. And whether you're looking at open yeah, borders no that are allowing people to come in, Iran knows the easiest um, way to get to America through the southern border. These people came in and we're not, doing not anything over the border. Also, we none get the of the 9 11 terrorists of our country. Whether it's walked our across schools, the border, whether it's on our they all media, flew in with visas from Saudi Arabia. And George Bush allowed them to, to fly back out America on a again. special Until plane. Until we do that, we are going to be at threat. We've got to look at Iran, China, and Russia want to destroy the West. We have to start. They didn't escape the Sinaloa. We've got to start That's protecting America. What about Americans. Canada, too? Right yeah. now, Northern Americans border. don't Excuse feel me. protected. And we're not doing anything to strengthen it. So Joe Biden continues to be a problem. That'll change on Election Day. <laughs> Will you be there? If China invades Taiwan, oh would my you God. send American troops, as President Biden has said? There's blood do. coming out of our eyes. We will eyes. be able to deter that from happening. I think that's the important thing. We need a strategy. No, that's of not the question. So that we're deterring Xi's ambitions. What if it doesn't he work? Want, yeah, it's going to work. Chi uh, Taiwan's an ally. We have long-standing American policy, and, and 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 you know how that's done, and we will follow that. That's not uh, an But here's the thing. Taiwan is important not just because of semiconductors. It's important because if China is able to break out of this first island chain, they're going to be able to dominate they'll, commerce they'll in the come entire from Hawaii. Indo Pacific. They will use that to export authoritarianism all around the world, including here in the United States. You look at some of these guys, I actually some of them that are supporting Nikki on Wall Street, they grovel to China. Uh, anytime something happens, they got to go do that. So they already exert a huge amount of authority uh, over this country. It will get a lot worse. So deterring China's ambitions is the number one national security uh, uh, task that I will do as president. The question I mean, is, honestly, if you were to compare needs China's to be aspirations century, we and the way they go about it to Chinese ours, century. I mean, I'm Mr. no Mr. fan of the Chinese government, but okay. it's I'm far more Next on Taiwan, you said if you want to stop Xi from invading Taiwan, quote, let's open a branch of the NRA Chi? in Taiwan and put an AR-15 in the hands of every family and train them 
how to use it. I that will it. give she a taste of American exceptionalism. Oh my God. God. I was being stupid, the okay. National police in Taiwan announced a zero gun policy last year. Is this a serious policy proposal? And if it isn't, why do you keep repeating it? Whoopsie. Well, it's part of a broader deterrence strategy. And so I think I'm going to respectfully disagree but with Ron here. You can broadly I think ignore the next it. US if president you need to. needs to be crystal clear that at least for the foreseeable future, the U.S. will absolutely defend Taiwan. And it is with that clarity that we actually achieve deterrence. But I have a broader strategy than that. We need to get on side in our relationship with India, take it to the next level. India has to be able to block the Andaman Sea, which is where China gets most of its I Middle think we should, oil supply. we should start a policy where India is allowed to assassinate is a up to 15 yeah, exactly. people per country. Um, maybe we can come up with an algorithm based on the size of the country. Modi can assassinate up to, like, let's say, 15 people per every 50 million. I hate authoritarianism. That's why we need to uh, embrace uh, India. Because we're scared. Why are we scared? Because we depend on them for our modern way of life. Why do we depend on them for our modern way of life? It's because Nikki Haley's latest friends like Larry Fink have created commingled economies with BlackRock good that telling all these Exxon and Chevron they can't drill here while being likely. a shareholder of PetroChina not applying those same constraints in China. So it is our economic dependence on China that makes us scared. If that were a Russian spy balloon, so we'd have shot it down, down in an instant. Pipe and if that were a Russian spy off. base in Cuba, we'd be, turning the, we'd, be, we'd be actually going hard on them instead of turning the other way as we are with China. So it comes back down to that economic dependence. We cannot depend on them for our pharmaceuticals, our semiconductors, and people have been lied to for a long time. Our own military, the F-35 jets that we make in this Thank country, you. depend on China, and it's Thank gonna take you. an outsider to fix that broken establishment. Thank you, Mr. Ramaswamy. Ambassador Haley, would you like to respond? No. I mean, when it comes to China and Taiwan, the one way that we keep China from going into Taiwan is one, make sure that we win in Ukraine, that we protect our friends, Bad but also let China know that there'll be hell to pay if they go into Taiwan. They need to know that there is going to be a force that's going to go against them. And they need to know it's not just going to be the United States. That is why we need to build our partnerships with India, with South Korea, with Japan, with the Philippines, with Australia. We need to start pulling that alliance together. Australia? First we can't we get Australia on board with anything we're doing? Sure on day one, really? We look at the fact Whatever, if China what about New Zealand? Under us tomorrow, would we be ready? Think about what happened during. We're going to build a coalition with the provincial government of Tasmania. Everybody told you to take a COVID test. They were made in China. Everybody went and, I mean, everything that happened, if you go to the drugstore, all those medicines are made in China. We have to make sure that we are not relying on China for anything related to our national security, which means let's start focusing on doing deals Thank with you. our friends now. Thank you, Ambassador. Governor Christie, I'd like you to weigh in on that. And I'm, do, do you yeah, think why don't we think about that? Why don't we just deal with our friends? With instead of Governor China? Christie, you haven't spoken policy. in 40 minutes. You know, I, I don't think we have constitutional authority over uh, Taiwan to give them a second amendment good I think point they can only do that for themselves but look nice I, one I'm they only really care clear. about once again Taiwan's way to weaken China the role of it's so answering cynical. your question which is uh, when I after Taiwan you're absolutely right I need a I board as president that's going to be my militarily Christmas and gift request uh, secondly actually that may be yeah. is doable economic relationships that, to that, do that that would be a great Christmas gift oh from someone that's not you if what's going to happen is that China is going to come and act in that region of the world however they see fit. It's not right. And, and, and I'll say this about I should ask. Um, what oh, wait. Emma, know, I heard in lieu of a paycheck <laughs> this year, she I've got Donald you Trump was uh, an iPad from 2013. <laughs> And the proof that he wasn't you can be a refurbished 2013 iPad that you can use to your travel. Not to be a nerd, but you probably need one from uh, a while back country. because they took yes, the dang uh, audio yes, it's the fact uh, inputs out of too much money. Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know, because all my iPads still actually have RCA plugs. You can't say he was good on trade because he didn't trade. He didn't change one Chinese policy in the process. He failed on it. Thank you, Governor Christie. Governor DeSantis, switching subjects here. For 15 years, Republicans have been burned by politicians' promises to repeal Obamacare. Yeah, it's Trump a stupid and cynical promise, not actually meant to be But failed to propose anything. You're now promising something better. 
but Florida has more uninsured people <laughs> than almost any other state. Why should Americans trust you That's an incredible more than any other Republicans despite the amount of disappointed older people, people that there are there? Medicare, right. Yeah, millions Medicare. of Americans who do Disgusting. not have access to affordable health care. And it's not just getting some type of card and Medicaid, because a lot of times they don't even get access to doctors. Do you actually get access to care? Uh, the other thing is we have millions and millions of people don't have access to good doctors and good hospitals. Florida did not expand Obamacare. I Should've. think the states that did that, uh, I think, are struggling financially. So that, yes, we did that, and I don't think no, that that, that was the right to policy to do. Uh, uh, we should be clear. Gonna go after the cost. When he says they didn't You're expand, he's talking about Medicaid. Everything. We've actually addressed this. In he didn't Florida provide Some Medicaid. You need price transparency. You need to hold the pharmaceuticals accountable. Come on, Christy, you jump in here. Christy won't jump in here because this means that he actually has to defend giving people health insurance. It's very important for the country that we get that done. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so where's Christy? This is a very personal issue to us. Because he didn't answer the question again. There's Perfect opportunity for Christy to do that. Also, in terms of like governors in bed with the pharmaceutical industry, it's hard to get more in bed with them than being today. Flew the here governor to tonight. New Jersey. We'll be back at 7 a.m. Maybe in Columbus, Ohio tomorrow, taking care of those patients in the OR. And on the front lines of people who have actually not swallowed for years. And here's what's something that's awful that's happening in Excuse our me? That's what she said. Thing <laughs> like feeding tubes, doctors to be pill pushers, but for the procedures that can actually make these patients better, we have a broken healthcare system that doesn't pay for it. My wife, Apoorva, in many cases, does not get paid for those procedures. She does them anyway because it's the right thing to do, but that does not work system-wide. So here's the Does answer. your wife support profit. universal healthcare, or would that cut into in her country. profits We have a, a sick care system. We need to start having diverse insurance options Do no harm in a competitive marketplace with my that cover actual health, paycheck. preventative medicine, diet, exercise, lifestyle, and otherwise. And okay. here's how we do it. Yeah, we need that. diverse options End of exercise. Thanks. Yeah, I, I, I saw how uh, people companies. responded to uh, Michelle Obama just saying maybe That's people should eat healthy and exercise. Like, this okay. is just what Obama, literally, like the diverse to. options like Obamacare. Yeah. Like, yeah. How much more diverse do we need this shit? I mean, it's not the choice. It's that they all suck. Diverse meaning. Company, not, a, a not a black person that has it. Over vaccine injuries. <laughs> the government has a program to compensate for such harm, but critics say it is a black hole of bureaucracy. 12,000 claims filed, 10% decided, only eight payouts so far in a forum with no right to counsel, no hearings, no appeals. Mr. Trump says he's very proud of warp speed. Should he be? Well, this question specifically on liability goes back to actually Reagan. And Reagan is a president who I admire. Many of us do. I think that Reviving that spirit is in many ways going to be good for this country in so many ways. Okay. But one of the areas where he erred was this special form of lobbying to say that one kind of manufacturer, a vaccine manufacturer, cannot be sued for their product liability. Mm -hmm. So I have pledged it is part of my legislative agenda. We will repeal that, just like we will repeal every other form of crony capitalism. People who have been harmed by those vaccines deserve accountability. They cannot Interesting be to hear the word Americans. capitalism. And I think one of the top lessons we learned from that COVID pandemic is that free speech in this country is most important in those alleged times of emergency. If we had been allowed to shit. openly debate the merits of those vaccines, they would have been never mandated in the way that they were. And in general, I don't think that we should want capitalism and democracy to share the same bed anymore. It's time for a clean divorce. I like think that's probably they're contradictory. Yeah, like actually, capitalism. you can't have ca this capitalism and democracy. They're contradictory parties. values. I think, I think we should have. Uh, uh, we should take those. We put that money into those um, vaccines. We own it. If you have been a government elected official doing, we pay them for the service. Like thank you for producing it. Like any, we'll give you a ten percent vig. You're welcome. The Go with God. FDA, now we own it, FDA, and we'll hand it out. And as any vaccine, it has a small it number of people who are going to have adverse Boeing. effects, and those people are covered under our Democrat. national health service, and uh, that's all compensated anyway. End the corruption in and actually, the that's special the court that we have. Exemptions. We do have that's a vaccine the court. We've always had one to deal with that corruption. specific problem. We need, we need a reckoning for what this government did during COVID-19. That includes Not the MNRA shots. They put it out, it was experimental, people wanted it. Then the government started trying to mandate it to say you don't have a right to put food on your table if you don't take an MNRA shot what? that's under emergency use. They tried to uh, take nurses away. Now in Florida, we blocked that. We provided protections for everybody so that they wouldn't lose their job. You also have the FDA approving an MNRA shot for six months old babies. There 
was no data to support that. They're doing it because big pharma will make money. Folks, they so did I'm the same thing there, when we were CDC, talking about NIH, HPV vaccine FDA, 15, 20 years ago. Reckoning, and yeah. right now, you're, the, remember, you're already starting to see a drop in cancer. So like, like, like the whole like babies, they did babies because they make money. Like, yeah, let's not let's uh, stop again. their ability to uh, extract profit from uh, being the entrusted with pharmaceuticals. Yeah, let's take over the vaccine so we get the profit motive out of it and we can really assess. That was such a weird, I mean, again, like I was probably 14 or 15 at the time that that debate was happening. HPV. But that was such a crazy moment because yeah. I had friends where their parents would refuse to give them the HPV vaccine. And my mother was like, I, I, I felt very insecure about it. Like, no, it created a well, lot of anxiety. But, but yeah. she, no but she was couldn't. like, you're getting it, you're getting it. And I didn't understand why at oh, the time. Funny. But I mean, you know. There, there's no way you couldn't feel anxiety about it because yeah. when it's in the air, you start to wonder. Like, yeah. we don't know. Yeah. Um, and, but a lot of it, the, the essence of that anxiety yeah. emanated from people saying and i'm controlling people, women's sex or girl sexuality they were all like this yeah. is gonna be you're basically as soon as they get that shot you're basically telling your daughters your 9 10 11 12 13 year old daughters go out and have sex yeah. now it's basically now, like booking them a limo with larry Flynn. i mean Honestly, as soon as i got the shot i just like went nuts but, but, all I mean, over town think about like like think about how completely out of your mind you have to be to think that a 10 11 12 13 or or even go through the teens up into the 20s into your 30s that like adult person yeah adult person anybody i get a shot and then i'm like now i can go have unlimited sex i'm going wild well like, now that i don't have the threat of cancer uh i've been like <laughs> That now they're on the threat of cancer 20 years from now or going uh, in, in fertile 20, 30 years from now, I'm going to have sex. Like, I'm no the sailors one, down by the docks. No, I would, I honestly, I would go out on a limb and say of the millions upon millions of people who've gotten that vaccination, that not one of them, has had sex. as no. the, the needle goes into them, goes, now I can finally go get laid. We literally know that uh, teenagers are having less sex than they, they were. They do. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, that's the thing they don't tell you is that the, the Gardasil also inhibits your libido. I, I, I'm, I'm joking. No, no, no. I, I mean, I mean it sounds plausible. But this was... And it also only prevents one form of cervical cancer too, yes. right? Like it's like not even that much of a blanket. No, well, it, what it does is it... I, it um, uh, what's it called? Uh, va uh, wart? Is it like that? Is it? Mm. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Right. Uh, but it it inhibits that and um, good. Public health. Public health. Oh yeah. It can stop a form of cancer. And also, you know, ulterior also motive. <laughs> They're trying to build Clinton. And of course, <laughs> allow allow you to like, get everybody all revved up. Thinking about sex, like which is what you do when you get your when I go when needle. I went to my pediatrician, you know exactly, Doctor well, Chua. I was like, oh, I've known you since I was three, and now that I'm finally thirteen, I'm just ready to go out in the town. There's nothing more titillating <laughs> than getting a flu shot. Uh, there, there, there's <laughs> like aphrodisiac. It's like watch out. Uh, it's a, a night on the town. That's when I get my flu shot. Is usually on a Saturday night about three a.m. Mm -hmm. right after I've been clubbing, oh. and. Uh, <laughs> People are getting like multi-vaxxed at sex clubs. Yeah, it's yeah so go. horny. Um, Although, I mean, um, th there were. Uh, oh, I forget it now. I'm tired. I'm tired. Just let me. Let, Dave let from me Jamaica here. says HPV shot basically makes you an incel confirmed. There you go. There you go. Uh, El Conniption, Matt channeling his inner R M Brown. Uh, Nate in North Dakota. It uh, it should also be mentioned that the group Haley just mentioned recently supported her is at a watch party hosted by the right wing nut jobs at eleven hundred a.m. The flag. I don't, that was from earlier. Yeah, that was around eight ten. Uh, let's see. Judge and Judge Judy and executioner said, uh, <laughs> "Can't even get down there now." I missed it. I can't even find it. Uh, Vegan Marks. Emma Oldie's fan, uh, music fan confirmed. Kowalski. It's, it's true. 
I told Sam one time what I listen to when I'm reading the news, and you had like a lot of like you had the big reaction of saying how lame I am. What was it? it was that was like it was like a lot of Jackson Brown, a lot of yeah, Eagles was, Republican stuff that was old. Here. You can listen to it thirty in primary candidates. <laughs> We're going to do one final Lots of Sam question Cook. Oh, one final question. statements, and we want to get you all in, so we're going to give you 45 seconds for this last one. Governor Christie, we're going to start with you. Which former president would you draw inspiration from for your own Reagan. presidency Reagan. and why? Reagan. I would draw inspiration Kanye will be looked at as someone that saved the Jews. In the last, uh, uh, Ronald year, Reagan was I've it. spent a lot of right. time writing a book about President Reagan that's going to be called What Would Reagan Do? That book's going to come uh, out ask his in 2024. Advisor. And what I learned more than anything else was that Ronald Reagan was a slave to the truth. <laughs> Ronald Reagan stood oh up my for the God. truth. He's such a liar. Popular that, that, that. at the moment. In 1964, he stood up against the John Birch Society when it was very unpopular oh. in the party to do it. That's when, a lie. When his friend Rock Hudson was dying, he laughed at his face. <laughs> for lies and when GE he paid him to be against the universal health care, he did it. I will be, and I would draw that inspiration from the 40th president of the United States. The guy States, went Ronald from Reagan. the SAG after president Haley. to being essentially well, anti-union uh, and George firing all the FAA the responsibilities um, he had of how workers. do you go and take on this great American experiment and make sure that the people are protected. And they always no knew that government me? was intended to secure the rights what? and freedoms of the people. It was never meant to be all things to all people. The and then you look at Abraham Trump. Lincoln, and you look at the challenges, and you look at the division that happened in our country, and the ability to lead in spite of the blood coming out of our eyes. Say, what will bring out the best is she saying Lincoln to us to go forward the guy who used the government to quash a rebellion by property owners. by people from South Carolina <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah South Carolina literally like the sort of aristocracy uh, of coming out of her uh, wherever <laughs> one of the guys I'll take inspiration from is Calvin Coolidge and people don't talk about Bro, you're loser fucking, you're fucking <laughs> loser give this guy a wedgie right. somebody he understood the proper role of the federal government no one cares no one cares we yeah, exactly. I think he was like one of the most reviled as the presidents. Centerpiece of yeah, no one cares about life. Calvin Coolidge besides a like Essie Cup. <laughs> <the original laughs> is she still around? I think so. Who has a good sense of the right. Bill of Rights and who knows how we've gone off track with this of course massive she's on fourth branch MSNBC. of government, no, she's uh, not. this administrative not state, That's which is imposing said. its no. will on us and is being weaponized No, that was us. years ago. So Silent Cal knew the proper role of the federal government. The country was in great shape when, when he was president of the United States. And we can earn, earn, uh, learn an awful lot from Calvin. Talk Cruz. about Hardy now, you nerd. Over to you, Mr. Ramaswamy. Okay, come on, Vivek. Say the, say the big day. Sure, well, I will Trump. say Ron picked a president who was born on July 4th. I'll pick one who died on July 4th. It's oh, Thomas Jefferson. It. He was 33 years old when he wrote the Declaration of Independence. And you all are sitting on a swivel chair today. He invented the swivel chair while he was at it, while writing that Whoa. Declaration of Independence. That's that founding spirit that we miss, that we're the pioneers. We're the explorers. We're going to develop a swivel a chair. He wasn't a pioneer. The vase going to rape some slaves, too. Yeah, he walked into a plantation. That's not pioneer. We haven't talked about it as much tonight, but I think it is one of the interesting... But it's so beautiful. On he didn't even release his slaves after he died. Speech. On Vivek's deathbed, he's going to cry and no say, but is Nikki Thomas Haley Jefferson still alive? <laughs> and then he'll Thank pass you, away. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Ramaswamy. And believe it or not, <laughs> it's time for closing Wait, statements. Wait, did they not have time for Governor Chris Christie to answer? Like uh, he did, Reagan. Reagan. Okay. I want you all to kind of picture in your minds election day. You'll all be heading to the polls to vote. And that's something that Donald Trump will not be able to do. Because he will be convicted of felonies before then, and his right to vote will be taken away. Oh. Yeah. It's like that Family Guy bit. Oh. Where Stop Stewie. telling us about the truth. Where Stewie is reality. hired to play the trombone every time a fat guy walks. I feel like every Biden. time. Like, when I, my colleagues here raised their hands and said they would support him even if he was a convicted felon, the bigger problem with it is they were confirming the lies he's told to the American people. If you're too timid to take on Trump, they could have a bunch of slaves that can do all the work for you for like timidity. all day, G and you just sit around Putin doing inventions and shit, yeah, the totally playing the fiddle. It's a swivel chair. <laughs> Look at this we'll guy. guy. The go, chair wasn't going to go forward. Going out and failure. show the people who are putting easy. barrels of we tobacco to together. To like, look what I invented, guys. This is the last time we're going to hear from Chris Christie, guys. Oh, sorry. I should be Jesus. Gravity. Even a president. I'll be the kind of president who has the humility that knows that you work for the people. It's not the other way around. 
I will earn your How trust. How do I not have a fart noise I on my uh, soundboard? Thank you, I think you could do it pretty easily. Chris, with if people don't trust you now, I'll it's because you fucked that up, bro. Like, about, it's too late to start building. One of the most important topics that needs to be discussed. That is this climate change agenda that is shackling this country like a set of handcuffs. I thought he was going to say, we have died. a problem. The it's the sixth agenda is a hoax. Six because it has nothing to month do with in a row climate. of That's record warming. 98 percent uh, reduction in the climate disaster related deaths in the last century. Eight times as many people are going to die of cold temperatures. This fart year Wayne warm says ones. I can provide a fart backdrop, noise. If you there's need an one. issue coming up in Iowa. It's core to Iowa farmers. I met Kim Junker, Kathy Stockdale, and other farmers who are about to have a carbon capture pipeline built across their land. I met a farmer in Kowalski. To do it. That's yeah, unconstitutional right and it's wrong. And if you thought COVID was bad, what's coming with this climate agenda is far worse. We should not be bending the knee to this new religion. That is what it is. It is a substitute for a modern religion. We are flogging ourselves. This is What's wrong with religion. This is this is this new God okay. almost and verbatim and Coulter's um, formulation back when she said liberals use government as a religion. This is Thank they just rehash the, the same chaos. shit over and over. I'm old. I've seen we this see over and over again. Our streets and our it's cities. unbelievable. See it on campuses. The freshest it voice out there is just re regurgitating the same crap from 15 years ago. But everybody just doesn't we remember. Have to stop the chaos, but you can't defeat Democrats. We'll have some chaos. fun. I'll Republican see you out the trail. Chaos. And that's what Donald Trump gives us. My approach is different. No drama, no vendettas, no, no violence. And I can't get taken well, seriously. She'll... From illegal immigration. I don't know if I'll ever be alive. For I envision a an female Republican where we nominee. Unleash our I don't think I'll ever live to see socialism. that day. But more importantly, I envision an America where we rediscover our national purpose. I'm planning on living for a long time. Here. I crushed Joe Biden in Thank the polls. You. And Thank if you, you give me this chance, we will crush him in November and take our How about the Republican primary? How are you in the Governor DeSantis. See, there was blood coming out of our eyes. We are in jeopardy, jeopardy of being the first generation of Americans to leave to our kids and grandkids in America less prosperous Already did and it. less free yep. than the and one we inherited. Late on I that. refuse to sit, sit idly by and let that happen. Better talk we more about have wokeness. people that are going to be willing to fight the people that are doing this to us. You can't be these establishment Republicans that just cave at the first sign of opposition. I'll fight for you. We also need to win I'm in your the corner. Yes, win the election, you remember that which again? we've struggled to do. It was New but York, also uh, win on these big issues. Yeah, and nobody right, has it. defeated nope. these Say people it. more than what I have what done in name? the state of Florida. On issue after issue, we have won and we have won big. And that's what we'll do for you. We also need leadership. Leadership is not about doing what's easy. It's about being willing to set out that Thank vision, you. knowing they're going to shoot arrows at you. They're going to come at you. I Thank will fight you. the good fight. I will keep the faith and I will finish Thank the race. You. Thank, Thank you, you and God bless you. Look at how many platitudes I can throw into one thing. They Wait, really it? had a hard out. All right. They had a very hard out, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I think we should honestly. Uh, I know Megan. it's it's 10 p.m. They didn't go over. Let's do wait, another. Wait, wait. Uh, I, I actually genuinely want to see if Nikki Haley even acknowledges the fake or his wife. No, no, no. And nope. just like that, the state of the race has changed. I do hope Not really. Shot no. Sometimes you get the Chris Cuomo, something. so you desperate. You saw Governor Christie Irrelevant. go up and shake hands with Nikki Haley. She seemed to say something nice to him. Uh, a little bit of an exchange with DeSantis, polite enough. Nobody going up to Ramaswamy. There he is, his uh, son. Surprise, I've met him. Here. And Sorry. that is it. You are looking at the hey, end he played shot baseball with my friend of in the high last Republican primary debate before the all-important <laughs> Holy Day season when Nikki Haley and the three gentlemen will now have to go back uh, and tell is people the you saw girl? me on the stage. I am the one. If it's not Trump, then it's me. I'm Chris Cuomo. Thank you so much for staying with us here at News Nation. A big night, as promised. Uh, a lot of noise, a lot of heat. A lot of how much problems. light and how has the race changed? Very I would say zero to be on the all of that. Coverage. You saw Vivek Ramaswamy, former Governor Chris Christie, current Governor Ron DeSantis, right. and of course, Ambassador Nikki Haley. Dance. She said she felt that she was going to have a target on her back early on. She certainly did. But... 
did it hurt her or help her with how she handled it? To discuss the all-star panel is with me right now. All-star panel. Geraldo Rivera, Mick Mulvaney, Morgan Ortegas, and Sean Spicer. Uh, we're watching That's them. It's all to former and Geraldo Trump Rivera there, uh, watching this. administration uh, members. I, just, I, I think before we get too far into the analysis of this, big winner tonight, News Nation. This was a top-notch. Nice. Absolutely. It, it, you think about how old this, this get that, news organization get that check. is. I put these together for the RNC in 2015. I can tell you this is not. An I want easy you to just to stop and think Nation about the idea in front of and behind the that the winner right they've just said well is this, this uh, internet uh, uh, station. Seven or eight That's the winner in organization. the Republican yeah, debate. So they're proclaiming. Can we believe they let us put this on? A big kudos. <laughs> to the team that put this together tonight. I will honestly say it is the first time, Sean, Mick, I agree with you. <laughs> Everything you just said. <laughs> just on. Outside of Geraldo, you're right, though, Sam. So, uh, just All a, three a quick take Trump going officials. in. Uh, was there a clear winner or loser for each of you? I'll start with you, Morgan, tonight. No, not not a clear one. I think uh, what happened is what I thought would happen. They're all they losers. Haley, especially in the first hour. And she did, in the first hour, what I thought she needed to do, which is to not let it get, get to her. She it. kept her cool, and she used their tax as a, a moment of opportunity. Not, at a, not everyone's going to agree with her. There's a lot of oh people that are going to be inspired by... I'm already Americans bored the by their coverage. About going it and took literally thir not even um, 30 seconds. But yeah, the gloves are off I, I want her to stop talking. Right. It's just a series of platitudes. That Here we go, Donald Mick. Swamy is not a serious candidate. Oh, yeah. He was in this to Vivek. try it. He was a child. He was attacking people like you would in a high school debate class. They were all ad hominem attacks. Many of them had Trump would never do that. Who, you know, who did you work for? Exactly. Yeah. No, Don Trump's and way above that. We saw folks start to sort of ignore him towards the end. Even the moderators are saying, you know, thanks very much. Be quiet. They got sick of this very soon. I don't know if there was a winner, but if there was a loser, it was Vivek Ramaswamy. Mm. I uh, think that Nikki Haley endured a barrage of attacks from child mutilation, uh, uh, you know, to uh, uh, some of her other I her miss other Geraldo positions. on our screen. I'm going to be honest with well. you. I think that ironically, when Chris Christie came like, to her He's defense, not all Republican the all the five guys. Guys. But again, I'm watching the Sopranos. He's been in like their fake news segments. Oh, right. It's quite enjoyable. Oh, yeah. After that. And she kind of it's fascinating to see them Vivek talk about Swami, this. I, uh, let's turn to CNN, see if you can queue up CNN, because I'm curious if they come up with anything better than this. Like, literally, uh, the only thing they could say that I thought was legitimate is it's a, it's a win for News Nation. No, keep them going. Oh, you want to do cross Crossfire? No, I want you... No, yeah, no. Keep him going to see if you can find on a different page... Um, you know, like keep this going, uh, but but in the meantime, if you can, like maybe. Uh, but it it just uh, it's it seems to me that he's 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 a he's too glib for school. Well, also let for me school? Uh, confirm a suspicion for everybody watching right now, as somebody who has uh, known Geraldo Rivera most of my life. He's a student. Uh, you are proof of the opposite end of the point, what? which is it's not just about age; it's about stage. I don't want any part of you in any kind of disagreement today. <laughs> any more than I did 25 years ago, but it's Your case by case. It's not just age. Whatever age you are, your hair isn't telling the story, and your mind is sharp and clear, and your heart is pure. Uh, is that <laughs> what, what the, the that they're judging on is he talking about? That's about their stage. That's what it, it means to be a mighty man. Sean, did you see any? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, look, I thought it was a push. Meaning, did anyone do I, I, I care. I, I don't care about that. Right, so Sean Spicer says it's a push, which means that everybody lost. Because it, you got your final debate, and nobody gets gains on everybody who is losing. Let's watch. Uh, this is such CNN a weird analysis. moment. In, I know in, it's so. Crazy. I can't even believe. I, I mean, I I almost am half can't apologetic mean. to the audience uh, here. I, in some ways, I see why they pursued that strategy this time around, uh, because you don't need to respond to every single thing. Uh, and it just the, just the fact, the eagerness of the DeSantis and the Ramaswamis to attack her only proved to the voters and to the audience she is the one that they think that they have to beat and that's i think the message that they were trying to send no tonight. it's well, true. nikki haley proved yeah. once again that she is a political heavyweight she's arguably won all of the debates or at least performed this is exceptionally such well a in joke that. but the moment that, that they're all me, trying to make to nikki haley a heavyweight when chris christie she is on stage with essentially like third graders on things, but that and she me, still doesn't even stand above them campaign on stopping donald trump and his it's unbelievable 
unbelievable. Examples. The bar has been lowered ends up endorsing so it. low. He, he did draw that contrast. It is subterranean. The Honestly, the bar was below the stage. Spoke with somebody who could end up backing her in short time. Yeah, and I, look, and, and Chris, Governor Christie was, I, I mean, he kept pointing out time and time again, I'm the only one up here to this didn't put my hand up here that said I would support as the Donald Trump if he was the nominee. CNN he kept drawing distinctions, making making the candidates answer questions better than the moderators did. Right? He was he was really forcing the issue. I think he did a great David job. Like, I would say CNN uh, was the winner tonight. Numbers have moved since day one. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and when David you sit back, like, Scott and I, we were talking about this earlier. We were watching the debate. Um, from the first debate performance. Uh, All right, today. you know we're not going to learn anything. I think we're done, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, she was offered a tour, sushi, and poker with the boys. Listen, the most important thing to keep in mind tonight is this. Honestly, you know you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes, uh, blood coming out of her wherever. Yeah, I, I think honestly, if we walk away with one thing tonight, that would be it. Um, blood coming out of her wherever. Look. We're five and a half weeks out from the Iowa caucus. It is not impossible mathematically for Donald Trump to lose because, of course, we don't know. Maybe Ron DeSantis wins. Maybe Nikki Haley wins. Maybe um, Vivek Ramaswamy wins. Maybe Chris Christie wins. I mean, Asa Hutchinson Maybe he has been spending all this time in Iowa and we just don't know it. We, we can't predict these things, but um, to the extent that the polling is, uh, is, says anything, um, it looks like Donald Trump is going to win in Iowa, but, but who knows? I'm going to, maybe Bobby Kennedy wins the uh, Republican nomination in Iowa. It's not likely, but it's not, I think impossible, right? I mean, I think for a caucus, you could, you could caucus for anybody. I don't think they're deploying any resources there. I've got one thing to say to you. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, listen, uh, I imagine most of you are subscribed to this channel, but if you're not, you should, because um, we may cover debates, I don't know, next year or in four years yeah do you think there's going to be debates well so year? like when i joined the show and, and you know it's like very very exciting still at this point but i thought that this might be a more robust primary season and an exciting time where there are a bunch of different candidates and we're all figuring it out he and i have to definitely debate that's what i love <laughs> but like none of that has happened none of that has happened no 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 um, but you know, we do uh, live, we'll do live stuff. I don't know what it is that we'll do. Maybe we'll do, we'll do coverage of the, uh, of, uh, the primaries. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But At like the first couple is Trump going to show up to the, uh, to the damn like regular, uh, like presidential general, debates? general election no. presidential. Debates? Will, will Biden? Yeah. Either of them. They'll, they'll make you know, a phone call and say, Hey, neither of us want to do this. Right. Honestly yeah. though, <laughs> like I, <laughs> It's, it's, I, 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 Is there I, any way we could do it on Zoom? I, I enjoy those debates, but like the fact that AI. it's the, like the, 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 nece the necessity of those things is getting undercut like publicly is, is kind of useful, I would say. Uh, right. I, I mean, I think, yeah, I think they're spectacle yeah, bullshit. Right. Exactly. I know. I think there's value in the debates. I definitely do. Uh, but I think it's, but it's, it's always minimal. been overstated. And, it's always been overstated, of course, because there's somebody who's who's got a financial incentive for it. N not not even not discluding us. We're going to make tonight from deba uh, tonight's debate coverage. Thirty three point seven forty seven thousand dollars. Uh, all right. That's not true. Oh, I was reading the chat revenue. We're at thirty three dollars and seventy nine cents. So, uh, well, yes, pay for the that's, pizza. That, that's a lagging indicator. Okay. We are only uh, we're only uh about uh, $50 away from breaking even <laughs> between the pizza and the beer. Let's subscribe, folks. And also, I, I want to say, I'm not even including the bourbon that I drank. But that, you know, it's... The bourbon's been here for... I get to, I get to write that off for taxes. <laughs> uh, folks, thanks for joining us. Uh, we will be live every day at noon, as you know. Uh, tomorrow, Emma will be... Is Corey this is for you, yeah. No, oh, no. all right. Sam equals corrupt. Is Corey Doctor on tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Son of a bitch. I'm pissed about that, incidentally. I, I was... I, I, yeah, I don't I think you're melodramatic at all. <laughs>
Uh, folks, thanks so much for joining us. You can subscribe below. Uh, Bradley, Matt, Emma, great job today mm -hmm. and tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It might take all the strength I got to get to where I want, but I know somehow I'm going to get there. I wasn't looking when I just got caught Between the truth and the light bar But finding out won't make me feel any better Yeah, I know the clock is ticking But the meds are gonna kick in And my pilot light shining bright I get somewhere the choice is where you don't get paid for the road that bends before it finally breaks you. I guess somehow I lost my drive.